Hello. It is I. I'm here today with uh, my boy Silfet. You might have seen him in the chat before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's him. It's my dedicated hype man. And he's going to hype us up while we um, traverse more of hard mode amnesia. You know where you are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you know where you are guys like are you are you like completely positive of where we're even at right now shit maybe everybody did just leave <laughs> i don't know um but anyway yeah we'll get right into back into amnesia there's probably about only like an hour and a half left if even, of gameplay, so it'll be pretty quick. Um, what are your experiences with Amnesia, Silphet? I watched PewDiePie play it, and when he first was popular, and I know nothing about it. Nice, okay, yeah, because I did the same, like, I remember, oh yeah, what's up, Beanies, what up? I think the watching now... <laughs> I think the watching now tab is like broken. I don't think it's actually um accurate at all ever. It like always tells me that one person is watching. So I always assume that's me because I'm like previewing the stream on YouTube. I'm not anymore, but um anyway, yeah. I guess I'm just going to get right into the game. Uh I was a little bit late coming in cuz I had a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, what up Raptor? Um, like making food and shit, and I just lost track of time. So, we here though. We made it. We made it. We're about to go on a journey. Oh yeah, and like the last thing that I said on my stream before it cut out, um, the last time was humans are disgusting, something like that, <laughs> which was a funny ass line to go out on, because. My internet just pretty much went out for the next four hours all of a sudden, so... That's why the last stream for this game was, uh, it just cut out all of a sudden. I would have finished it basically on stream, but here we are now. Because, uh, yeah, I wasn't about to restream that at, like, 4 a.m. for me. So, yeah. Did you want to, did you want to backtrack on that and just go ahead and say for the record that humans aren't disgusting or... <laughs> yeah, I uh, completely changed my mind. Sorry, guys. Um, as soon as I said that, my ISP was like, hmm. And then they just, like, take took out my internet. Like, yeah, we're disgusting now, piece of shit. Um, no, I love, I love humans, you know. I, I think it's cool that we've come up with, as this game has demonstrated, um, an immense amount of torture methods that are very um, messed up. Quite uh <laughs> quite not safe for work like messed up but um you know we're here we got to do it we got to go through those torture rooms to grab the rest of the orb that's what we were doing last time we were trying to gather an orb of power memes so we could use it against alexander who also has an orb and for some reason six of these pieces of the orb are scattered about in torture rooms so yeah kind of an archaic way to hide your orb really maybe they're powered by the humans who are tortured and i don't know it's some weird shit you should look up amnesia's story it's kind of weird but it's dark it's very dark it's rich people man they have way too much time on their hands <laughs> yeah fucking setting up little puzzles in their mansions and shit all, all the time like what is up with that yeah they do it in resident evil they do it in amnesia they do it at a police station in Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. They just basically rich people are just like, hmm, it'd be cool if we had this like little intricate meme puzzle that opened a door somewhere else. Hey, <laughs> you know. Um, I, I it makes sense. Like that's what I do too. I guess. Yeah, sure. If you had like just an insurmountable amount of time and money, and you were like a vampire who lived three hundred years, you'd probably get bored of your standard architecture, and you'd want to build. Stupid puzzle memes. Is this game gonna pick up? There we go. Jordan, yeah! Alright, and then let me stream it to you. 
So who would win the fight, Gordon Freeman or this fucking guy? Gordon Freeman would tear Daniel to shreds, cause Daniel cannot even fall four feet without taking damage. And he can't run very fast at all. And he can only get hit by, like, once by a monster, and he might just instantly die, so... I, don't, I think Gordon Freeman would absolutely just destroy Daniel. As far as Alexander, though, like, the main villain, I don't know. Genuinely, I don't know. I'm gonna turn the game up a little bit. I'm not trying to cheat, but this game, it's a, a little bit hard to see, so... Like, on stream as well. Have you played this game before, or...? Yeah, you know what? I, uh, actually have, um, a long time ago. Like, probably, like, 2013. So... Oh, and just to clarify, anybody who was here when the stream cut out, I'm pretty much exactly where I was when my internet went out. So I didn't do anything, bef like, like you know, between this episode and the previous. I'm pretty much right. I, like, saved immediately as soon as my shit went out. But anyway, yeah, I have played this game. Um, It's just been a long time. What's, what is, like, your favorite... What is your guys' favorite horror game? Like, how about you, Sylphette? Like, what do you, um, what's, like, your favorite one? The one that keeps popping to mind is Silent Hill on PlayStation. I probably need to, uh, acquire that and play it on stream, because I've never really sat down and played through an entire Silent Hill game. My main one was, uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake on GameCube back then. That was, like, my big horror meme. He needs said Alien Isolation. I've never played an Alien game either. Um, weirdly enough. It's like a bunch that of horror. That cool. Yeah. I agree. I'm sipping on some stuff before I start completely. Just to reiterate a few, like, a little bit before I actually start. Sorry. I'm on hard mode, and... I barely get any oil or tinder boxes in order to light my way. And I had to immediately save when my internet went out. I didn't really want to, so I'm kind of in an awkward save spot. And if I die, I go back to this spot. Like, there is no auto-saving. So, um, if I get quiet or, like, I get irritated when I die, that's the reason. Because uh, it's not just, oh, I have to go back a whole minute. I might have to go back, like, a whole 20 minutes. Which I did. Yeah, just don't die, dude. Don't don't fail. Don't be a fake gamer. Um, and I guess also a little bit like viewer discretion advised because I think this part of the game is like pretty. I mean, already we've seen like blood, guts, and stuff, and like medieval torture instrument bullshit, and um, yeah, it's just a graphic game. I don't know. I kind of forgot how graphic this game is. It's like much more graphic than. Resident Evil and maybe Silent Hill, like, it delves into some pretty dark topics about, um, I don't know, how Alexander wants to pull all this, like, crazy energy from humans, I guess. I don't know. I need to, I need to, like, re-learn uh, this game real quick. We went through one room. I have tar and, like, one piece of the orb and a bone covered in mucus. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that right now, but no oil, no tinder boxes. We're pretty much a little screwed, but yeah. Can you be hot? <laughs> Everybody's fucking asking me that. Like, bro, can you be hot? No, I can't. I cannot be hot. Oh, you can. You just did. This is really slow. Yep. No. Yeah, but, but, but do it. <laughs> God, why? Since it breaks the scariness. Whatever you want! I'm not gonna explain how what yeah, I don't do I really I'm already like going insane. Okay, I, I should I should explain this to you, Silphet, but insanity in this game is insanely annoying. Haha. <laughs> um in, in hard mode, you can actually die from insanity, and interacting with certain things, like looking at the monster in this game, can make you go more insane, and you'll just randomly die. 
Am I just looking at stuff or being in the dark for too long? Like, if you're in the darkness in this game, you go insane. So, gotcha. lantern oil and tinder boxes are pretty important because they keep you from doing that. But, um... Oh, do I really want to touch this? The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Okay. Yeah, I think my character needs to chill out for a moment because my sanity right now is like at its worst. If I see oh, you like can one just sit still and it'll go down. Well, I'm in like this room in particular, it can go away cuz like it's like a lit room. But in the darkness, it's like yeah, it's it slowly is killing you basically. I hate to stall and stuff, but like I don't want to randomly just look at something and then just oh, I guess I just died from sanity now. All right, cool. This dude's losing his mind from being in the dark and like having to walk around. Like I'd love to see him function in modern day society. <laughs> Oof, that sucks. Well, I need that. Why do I interact with these? Reduce chaos. Hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Yeah. I mean, if he was a rapist, then, you know, cool. Well... If he was, well, maybe, yeah, but I don't know. I kind of get the feeling that these people didn't, might have not done anything, maybe. But who's to say, I guess. I need three yeah. more pieces of the orb. Maybe it's up here. I don't know. Wow, these stairs suck, dude. Oh my god. They look cool, but they feel awful to go up. Like, the physics are just terrible. Yep. And Alexander, I guess, your yeah, boy. Typical rich people. They need pictures and paintings of themselves. Oh, I need that big time. Just drinking oil? Yeah. <laughs> drinking oil. You know me well. You're too into cars, man. You're just drinking oil. Oh god, yeah, I love sneezing. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become, I am not blind, I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Huh. Yeah, man. Yep. Duh. Oh god, okay. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. Humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses if possible. 
with breaks to let the body settle. If you're whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Goddamn. Yeah, the vitae is like that energy, human energy, bullshit, whatever that Alexander is after. And your dude, is he just trying to get out or like what? He's, he's trying to like... kill Alexander. Uh, cool. You should, should get him. Daniel used to be under the clutches, like kind of like not really, he didn't, like, Alexander didn't force him. He kind of just was like, oh, you know, yeah, Alexander's right. He took me in, and he's saving me from the monster that's following me after touching the orb in Africa. But, um, he's like, I guess he realized at some point that Alexander's a bad person, yeah. Something died inside him that day, watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. We have to go this way now. You seem to have found all the old pieces used in the transept. Go to the choir and find some. Yeah, he's speaking to me, this guy. He's my only friend. The remaining art pieces can be found in the choir. Has someone confirmed if laudanum is actually real? I have no idea. In court, the order of the black evil spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I'm the one in the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their father's place, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Oh god, more fucking generation. Weir taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show- oh, Agrippa is that guy, by the way. The one who can't move and who speaks through that jar. Um, how an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Weyer claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how I am, how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I've seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted, as usual, from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the se secretion in the water dwelling... Kerink? Kerink? I will have to address Weyer with this, as he will have to supply me with the host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Okay, what do I need to do now? One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. Oh god, do I have to make like a potion to even go in the choir? Is it like poison? Well, we'll see. Laundry is a said, real thing? Yeah, laundry is a real thing. True. 
Such filthy thought. Good men can safely... I think that was Daniel's thought. He was like, what filth these people are because he thinks they're actually, like, you know, arsonists and thieves and rapists or whatever. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Oh boy. What the fuck? 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Oh, well, I guess I gotta do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold blooded killer. Hurry. You gotta do it. Well, I guess so. Do I have a choice? I don't wanna, like, die in this cutscene. I'm gonna sit here for a minute and eat my, uh,. My uh, pizza stuff. Oh, yeah, Totinos. It's just some of those bagel bite things that are way too expensive. They're good, though. I guess I gotta do this. I'm making fettuccine Alfredo. Nice, man. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Just talking about like pizza and shit while we're about to like sacrifice this guy. Yeah, man, I don't know. I was thinking about making a Caesar salad. <laughs> you know, have you ever tried just making a salad and then just wrapping it? Like as a wrap? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can just make a salad and you can put it into. Like a tortilla, and then just wrap it up, and you have like a chicken Caesar salad wrap. That's pretty good. Also, that was Daniel speaking, by the way. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Uh, any oil yet? Any oil? Oh yes, I have. I have gotten some. Yeah, that's the good shit. Yeah, I've had multiple three letter agencies contact me already. <laughs> so, uh. So, Fed, there's like a, a shadow in this game, a quote unquote shadow. It's like a monster. Basically, they're trying to pull power from these orbs, and anyone who comes in contact with the orbs basically sees the shadow that wants to kill them. And basically, if somebody touches the orb, like what happened with Daniel, there's like acquaintances that he talks to that just end up dead. Basically, within days. Huh. And doing these rituals is to try to get that guy to fuck off, that shadow. Carefully cutting the man open made him think, this is how father must feel about his craft being an artesian. Relying on one skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Oh, this place looks great. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It's close now. It is you who caused all this pain and death. 
If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. You know shit's getting real when you hear the um, the main menu track of the game. You know that you're uh, probably near the end of the game. Oh, really? It's Are like you gonna kill the guy? Do you have a plan? Nope. I'm just gonna use the power of the orb, hopefully. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Yeah, Alexander sounds like a great guy. Spin the wheel. Bean. take this game very seriously. Oil, yes! Sweet, sweet oil. I need to find those tender boxes too because I can't save until I have four of them. I need to get up there. Oh, I'm dead. What? Fuck that thing up, man. I cannot. He smells the oil. He smells the oil? No. I'm just joking. Oh. I thought that was actually a thing. I was like, damn, that's pretty insane. Okay, that's the shadow. I cannot kill him. There is literally nothing I can do to hurt that guy. You can't look at him either? I can look at him if I'm not already very insane. Like, my insanity is, is low. Or my insanity is high. I, my sanity, yeah. The tissue is like it should be possible to break open. Will this kill me if I break it open? Because it's like a fungi. I think I'm supposed to combine this with some shit. According to the note, the tonic has to be made with care. Okay. I just kind of assumed, you know? Oh, God. Crater did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. That's metal. Alright, where's the orb piece? I know it's here somewhere. God damn, rich people. This could be like five bedrooms. <laughs> just, like, just an empty room, sitting around the suit's mansion. Yeah, it's like, hey, can you uh, just make some affordable housing? And it's like, nah, we're gonna make like all these like torture instruments. Why? Oh, you know. I need a, a room from the wheel, uh, I need a, a room for the crucifixions, uh, a room for the blood sacrifices, and, uh... 
<laughs> yeah, when you become a billionaire, this is pretty much what you do. Imagine the people putting up these columns. They're like yeah. low-paid, like, <laughs> like workers. They're just like, yeah, man, he wants us to put up the fucking columns. We're so deep underground right now. Like, this is crazy. Like, having construction like this. Yeah. The brass bull looks sick as fuck. You gotta hand it to them. Yeah, dope. Dope design, man. Kind of, kind of metal. Literally, because it's brass. Huh. If I die, I'm gonna be so pissed off, because, like, I, it's been a while since... Oh. Oh, literally the Iron Maiden. Literally metal. Uh, like a bottle in the corner? Yeah. This is, these Wonder are health Man. items that I don't even need. I need tinder boxes. The game's like, no, here's health items even though you get one-shotted by the monster. Like, here's a band-aid for the gunshot to the head you're about to take. Did you beat this game? I think I did a long time ago, yeah. Alright. I guess that happens. <laughs> Oh, I'd be fucked up if the shadow showed up and the only way I could hide from him is by getting in the Iron Maiden. I actually don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm guessing that's gonna happen. What do you think's the most efficient torture method? I mean, it depends on what you mean by efficient as in, are you, like, killing them or inflicting the most pain? Trying to get information out of them or trying to get them to change their ways or something? I mean, I guess in the past few like decades it's been like waterboarding because <laughs> it's like it doesn't really hurt people as much as it just like it gives you the feeling of drowning and it's like absolutely terrifying so um yeah i have no idea what to do fun. with all this shit uh all right <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Can't really confirm. Nor deny. I mean, what do they do? They, uh... They just, like, put a board on you and put water on it? Yeah. Yeah, that's no big deal. I think I might have gotten everything, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna look around a little bit. There's probably a bunch of supplies around this, like, massive room, but, I mean, I just... I don't know, man. I don't... I feel like running around this whole thing for like five minutes. Yeah, Raptor, I'm, it's a joke. He doesn't actually mean that. Oh, if the rise on your face, then that's even better. Then you can just, you know, the water doesn't hit you in the face. Yeah, I need to get the hell out of here. I can't. Oh, that's a tinderbox. Yes. Oh, I can save now. I'm out of here. Don't you need four of them? I have four. So. On the top right, that's the tinderbox count. I'm out of here. You should make sure you save in a good spot. Yeah. Maybe get a little further.
found Vi's recipe, so there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate then. Please, find the ingredients of the Pazatonic via this crime. And do so before you assemble the ball. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the hall. You want to listen to this guy? Well, you kind of help me. Look at him, is he even going to be able to do anything? Well, well, once I save him with this tonic, that'll make him be able to move or whatever. Maybe. Let me save here. Permanent progress, boyos. I see that all the odd pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Wyatt's tonic before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your hands. Because Agrippa is like this innocent guy. Volunteered for Alexander. And now he's like in this husk. I'm just confused as to where I um make this ship. Yeah, put it in the uh pot there. Put the rope in the pot? Wait, what? Okay. So I now have a rope with a jar on it. I'm kind of oh, confused. Oh, nice. Or, or, or a jar with rope on it. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, but it was not correct. I'm actually not sure where I can... Okay, Jesus, I know, guy. I, I'm trying to figure out where to assemble this. I see. I think I might have to assemble it in this area. Are you gonna kill the final guy? What the fuck? Okay. Uh. Well, that's fair. Wait, did I actually die? I just said sleep. Oh, this is scripted. Hey man, can you let me out of here? I didn't realize this was scripted. They didn't take any of my shit, that's nice of them. You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge Oil. against you. Daniel, we are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to. You talked about redemption. You must be Alexander, huh? The old shadow and save our work. Must be the big twist. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend.
Alright, this turned into an escape game all of a sudden. I could slip through this shit in real life, I know I could. I honestly don't know what to do. Uh, so we're stuck in the cell. There's like nothing else really to speak of. Um, I am a little bit. There, there's. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, there you go. Use the iron and remove the. Yeah. Can I, uh, maybe I need to hit it with something? Or do I have to literally patiently wait? Oh, there we go, I had to wedge it. Uh -oh. Nice! I loved those escape flash games as a kid. I thought I was a genius. All right, what else is around this cell now to help me escape, maybe? Oh. Yeah, it's just open, cool. By going up or down, I can't even tell. No, it's going down. Put your thing on there? Maybe. I'm not sure what the point of that is. I don't know if there is a point. Last prisoner note, there is little left to say. I write solely to prevent myself from revisiting the memories of these last few days. I'm fortunate I will fall asleep and time will pass without effort. I've begun to wean myself of my prison. When I first arrived, I felt like I was being buried inside a tomb, but now I feel the, clo the close walls comforting me. As long as I am in here, there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I even laughed earlier as one of my wardens dropped a key down the pipes. It gave me hope for a second, thinking I could escape. If only I could somehow reach it from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. In my dreams, I best you and escape your clutches and return with all the knights of the realm, carrying pistols and sabers in my dreams. So there's a key in a pipe somewhere. Wherever it is. He did. Cool, more health items I don't need. Oh, I guess I have a cut. Here you go. Oh, here we go, wooden bucket. water that's what we needed yep. that's just what we needed so where this looks like it probably breaks or something 
Or maybe that's just the shadow being weird. I don't know. I don't know what pipe he's referring to. There's a shit ton. Oh. I could fucking get that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to use the water to make it flow out. Ah, nice. Oh, uh, nothing bad will happen in this hallway. Surely it'll be a normal walk through the hallway and nothing else. It's crashing down around him. I don't know. When Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice, but she was still alive. She had embraced and wished him a grand ad adventure in Algeria. I'm in just a, like a brand new area now. Sorry to hear that, Chuck. Yeah, dude, seriously, I've de I definitely feel your pain. I'm still kind of sick myself, a little bit. Pipe? Jar? Okay. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna die now. Oh. of August, Rain. Oh my god. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. That is today in the game. Closing in on me and I fear for my life more than Like ever. it's present time like Daniel. Just outside oh, hey. Altstadt lies a small settlement at the Zimmerman dairy farm that lives with his wife and two children. visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the company. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. Oh yeah, Daniel did some real bad shit. But Daniel wants to redeem himself. I respect. place is crashing down. There's only one way to go now. 
Please don't cut me. Don't out, you bitch. So you following this also, Fit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to go kill this guy. Yeah. But, uh, we don't really know where we're going. <laughs> But I'll bet you ten bucks the guy's you. Nah. Alexander's definitely a different person. Daniel is definitely a different person. I think I'm supposed to use this somehow. Yep, here we go. Thank you, Daniel. I can't do this right now. What the fuck I'm do you mean? It further down below. Or something. I don't know. He said he can't do this right now, which I'm not sure. I guess I'm supposed to put something else in the jar. I think there's something else I need to do in this room. Okay, and how about here? Because this is like the only place I can think of now. Okay, and now I think I can, dude, oh my god, I'm trying to do that, believe me, I am trying. Maybe there's another one in the room some more. Yeah. I hope it's not some random jar I had to find, like, in one of those, like, big ass rooms, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Because I can't just use any bottle or whatever. I have to, like, find an item that is a jar. I think I'm at, like, a stalemate right now. I don't know if there's much I can do. Like... I'm guessing the tar is not part of this at all. Um... The third game takes place in Algeria. Oh, like Rebirth. So you get like more context for what happened. That's cool. I haven't actually even checked out a machine for pigs, like the second game, which I have heard has had like mixed reviews. Like it might be like the worst amnesia game. I'm kind of irritated right now though, cause I'm not entirely sure. I might be missing a jar. Like. Hey, you can miss a key item, like, way early on in the game that you need? Not way early on, but, like, in a room that I can access now. Maybe somewhere. Fucking somewhere, right? Like, which is very annoying. Might I? I, I need to, well, I need to come back to this later, because I guess I'm missing a jar or something. Yeah, yeah. Fucking asshole. I lost you. The castle crumbled, and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Ah, uh, I need to go to the laboratory. Where the hell is this? Excuse me? This is new? Yeah, I probably need something from here. Bone saw. Give me that shit. Really? Huh. I probably need to do something with this. Toss some shit down there. Right, yeah, this is what I need to do. Yep, exactly. I need blood. Right, yeah, exactly. I, I knew that. Yeah, I wasn't just clicking every key item and seeing what happens. 
So now I can probably. What are you doing? Time is running short. Dude, I I know. Okay. Yeah, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You have this blood. Isn't it clear? Isn't it clear what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yeah, I think this part of the game is a little weird. Like, I think now, blood needs to be purified. Oh my god. Okay. I do it with heat, obviously. You know this. What? No, 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 no. Now you're supposed to fucking put that up your nose. God, don't you know? It's so obvious. I remember this part where you're supposed to get like one of these. Okay, well, we have the whole tonic now. Oh, hey, give it to that guy. He wants to drink it, right? So you can yeah, something like not that. be crucified or something. You did it. Thank goodness. Now, pay attention. What happens if you drink it? I don't think you can. Use this, you then use the solder in my head. Without taking my life. Okay. Then, take my head and bring it with you. As you enter the gate, Alexander is opening in the inner sanctum. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you enter the gate? We can't argue now. You need to act. Well, Quick, cut his head off. Okay, good job. Now what, he wants you to toss it through the portal or something? Something like that, I don't know. I guess we're uh, moving on now. Oh god, fucking dick. I can't save. If I die, I'm screwed. Like, genuinely. That's pretty... Dude, you got this. No scoping. Shadows over there, exactly where I need to be, obviously. Fuck you. What? Oh my god. What am I supposed to fucking do? Wait for him to fuck off. So, Enies, are you pretty well versed with the Amnesia universe or whatever? I had no choice, so. Yeah. It's 
So if you go back, he'll be right there. I actually don't know. I assume he'll teleport somewhere else. escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent, but to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. Yeah, I think this is the point where he was like, okay, I need to go take an amnesia meme and kill Alexander. Well, I mean, that's a bad order to do everything in then, huh? Yeah. Like, just kill the guy and kill yourself. Well, it might not be so simple to kill the guy. It's supposed to be, like, this not-human guy. But then how's drinking an amnesia potion supposed to help? Give you a new frame of mind, like, instead of... throw his head at it. You know, I don't know if that means I can go now. All right. Okay, I guess we're done there. I'll be right back. All right. I'll waste my fucking tinder boxes on these random dumb candles. Well, I guess I can go now. But, uh, I think I'm gonna wait for Sylphet Edie's to see the end. Well, I'm not gonna wait long. Probably just like a minute. I need to gather myself anyway. <clears throat> God damn.
actually got to throw something away and um, get a bit more drink. So I'm actually going to do like a quick be right back. Just real quick. Yo, I'm back. Okay, here we go. Yo, still fat, you there? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go along with it. So finally, we get to confront this dude. And if I die, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off because we have to start all that over again. Finally reached the inner sanctum. Who saw that even that taking toll on his friend's mind and barred him from the inner sanctum? He could no longer be trusted to be part of the ritual. Oh yeah, after Daniel did that. Alexander and who did that? Yeah, okay, Daniel changed as a person. What's happening? Where do I go? Oh fuck, I have to go, I have to go. 19th of August, 1839. Here we go, 19th of it's August, it's today. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now... I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see, 
was my eyes dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. The amnesia meme. Oh, and then he was like, you know how to wipe my fear? Use the amnesia! Was I supposed to do that? Oh fuck, I might be fucking up my <laughs> sanity doing that. Oops. I guess I was supposed to do that, I don't know. I gotta hurry up. That thing is like, the, the red goop is behind me. Can I do that? Will it open now? Is there another lever somewhere I don't know of? Oh wait, was that supposed to just close that? I have no clue, man. I'm kind of worried. I don't know how long it's gonna... Maybe door is sealed shut. Search for a way to open it. Yeah, very helpful. Oh, dude, do not die from insanity. Do not. I will be very pissed. Oh, God. I have to, like, calm down. I'm going to be so pissed. Alright, just get... Maybe it's... Maybe we don't have to hurry as much as I thought. Maybe we can chill here. And we can not die from insanity. Maybe perhaps we can give me tinder boxes to help me save. Maybe. Just maybe. I think where I stopped was like after I got all the pieces, the orb pieces, and I had to create the potion and all that. I don't think that took too long, but I'd rather not do that again. The potion thing. By the way, what do you guys think about onions? I, this is a weird question, but I'm, I'm curious like I've hated onions all my life But then in the past like year or so it's like okay a little bit of diced onion on like a burger is like pretty good To be honest, but I can't eat raw onion memes. I I really hope I don't die from this shit Yep, 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 yep. Cool. 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 All right. Nice. Can I open the door now? Son of a bitch. Come back. Yo, oh my god, no. No, that did not. No! Oh my god. Dude, that is so fucking... Alright, now we have to replay all we just did. Welcome back, Sylphet. Oh. Sorry. No, it wasn't fucking... It wasn't you. It was the fucking game that gave me some archaic bullshit puzzle, and then my character went insane from trying to figure it out, and then died. Oh. Uh, you didn't throw that guy's head into the portal yet? No, I have to do this, this puzzle bullshit before I can do that. I see that you came back at like such a great time. I'm back, dies. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. I'm... What did I have to do? God damn it, I don't remember. I think I have to go through here. And then he'll put me in the jail or whatever. Yep, all this spooky stuff that if I look at i'll go insane and die dude i'm so pissed i fucking knew that was going to happen like the game's like hurry up hurry up but in order for me to not be insane anymore i have to sit still in front of a light there's literally nothing else i can do Whatever it takes. yeah sugma i don't care all right
right, let's go. Come on. Gotta do the whole prison segment again, and then get the jar, and then cut off his head. Jam the gears. I shouldn't have played hard mode. This is all my fault. But you know, I wanted to be an epic gamer. You know. So what? How? how what, what were you doing? What? What's up? Uh, all my smoke. All my smoke alarms were broken, so I had to unplug them all. Uh oh. You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much. You never did finish what you set out to do. Sorry, I'm doing a speed run any percent right now. Redemption. How you would face the old shadow and save our world and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. Oh god damn it, why did I come in here? I know, spooky. Go ahead and pull that up for a minute, and then uh, I'll grab the bucket from there. Good thing somebody left a bucket in here. Love onions, that's nice. What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like onions too. What's your favorite onion? Mine at the moment is just kind of like diced onion memes. Just white onion. Yeah. I'm gonna sit through this bullshit again so I could get the. I don't know if the true ending requires, like, oh yeah, you know, like you have to read all the notes, but I'm just gonna do it real quick. It won't take long. Whatever, it's like the last fucking thing. I like the rain. The rain sounds are cool. Yeah, so in this game, the day that you're, you're like, you're, you are Daniel is August 19th, 1839. So this pretty much happened yesterday in the game. There's a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farm, lives with his wife and his two children. The coach went there. That visit was unexpected. Valley I'm gonna try to get out of the map. Strike Zimmerman down without alerting the help. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. Get me out of here. I wanna go to McDonald's. We should have more than there are McDonald's in Altstadt. Finish the ritual now.
Cole, can I get up now? Is there any, any point to this, or is this just like a damn, I guess it's just a cosmetic meme. I don't know why I'm all slow and shit. I don't know how Daniel isn't just used to this fucking bullshit by now, because I know I am. The whole red meme everywhere and screaming or whatever. Like I am so used to this shit. Yeah, it's like not really a big deal, right? Daniel wants to move all slow in this section for no good reason. I'm young and strong is what he said in the beginning. You can take out Alexander who's old and weak. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. You seem kind of slow and dumb to me. I mean, well, you just need a gun. Yeah. Once a game gives me a gun, it's over. Okay. Can I do this shit? No, I gotta get the blood, the blood jar first. Dad, I thought I'd lost you. The castle crumbled, and I could hear the chapter hey. collapse. The laboratory might. Drops the rope, game over. Oh yeah, I need the bone saw, can't forget that. I'm gonna get this laudanum, whatever the hell it is. What are you doing? Time is running short. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting so much time right now, gosh. Opium. I just wanted to be cool and have a name for it. There were so many dumb steps for me to get these ingredients, like you have no idea. Like multiple steps for each one. I'm just trying to kill this guy. I can't believe I have to do all these puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Drink it. Cut your head off. There you go. Quickly. Quickly. Cut my head off, please. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go. So I have the six pieces. I have the tar. Yep, let's go. You don't have his head. Oh, fuck. You're right. God damn it. Why do I have to pick that up? Oh my god. Like, why isn't it... Like, just It's such a dumb decision. Like, just... Okay, Man, whatever. Gotta help him. Gotta help that guy out. You, you're the one who said he's a good guy. Yep. So you gotta throw his head through the portal like you know. So how does this guy think this is gonna play out? You're gonna appear in front of that Alexander dude. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna kill you. But hold on, and you're gonna throw that head like a football, like through a portal, and then you're gonna kill the guy. That's the yeah, plan. I guess. I don't know. That was a brilliant plan. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking wait for the shadow to leave that room because I need to go in there. I have an idea. Reload the area right now. I'm sure this is a speedrun strap. sequel to this game called Alzheimer's? Oh my god, that was so fucking close to me jumping off the building. Oh my god. The camera, when you get cut like that by the red goop shit, your camera like kind of jerks in like a random direction and it just so happened it would, it would be toward an open railing. I think I would have quit the game if that killed me. <clears throat> Still damaged me, okay, whatever. The sequel is called a machine for pigs, I think. I've heard it is quite mid compared to this game. I just know I'm not playing that game on hard mode. Not happening. Ever. I'm done with hard mode in any Amnesia game. A part of me wants to go back and find like two more tinder boxes so I can save, but I don't even know if there are two more tinder boxes available. Every game since Legend of Zelda has to have a you did the puzzle sound. Honestly, Daniel made it sound really easy to get to the inner sanctum in the beginning of the game. But literally, this is the end of the game. John Wick 4 trailer dropped? Sick. Yeah, I pretty much caught up to where I was. Well, don't die. Yep. It still didn't fucking open? Why? What do I have to fucking do? Do I have to stand here and become insane for it to work? Tetris trailer dropped. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I opened it. Yep, I did. Petrus! Alright, here we go, boys. I think he's legit, though. I think that really is a Tetris trailer in there. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, that's not a meme. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me. Oh, there he is. Shoot him. Everything nice and clear throw the head. Now. The, throw the head. Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? Now you're just a dick. 
kind of cut his head off. How much am I going to help him out? You want me to throw your head here? <laughs> like talking to Where do you want me to fucking throw you? I'm not sure what to do. I said there's gonna be a portal next to him or some shit. That is not what it looks like. Ah, yeah, there you go. Oh, no, don't do that. Got him. Haha, <laughs> idiot. No. Oh. Sorry, Agrippa, you're gonna die with us. I'm really sorry, my friend. I know I promised I'd throw your head through the portal. My greatest triumph, and I never looked back. Am I gonna he get out of here? He didn't throw his head. I know, I know. He was just. You think I... Here's the thing, right? Was I supposed to just sit there? And just let Alexander just stare at me? Like, I was kind of thinking, like, you know, at one point, is he going to open the portal? I'm guessing there's different endings, right? I don't know. But I just took the pessimistic the ending. Afraid, fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Yeah, I mean, he got this head now. Do something with it. Yeah. Okay, man. I'm sorry, but you're in our world now, and you can move and see the world. I knew I can it take me perfect. you with me. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. I'm walking back through the game that I've been through already, but like how did I get here? Like the paths that I came to get here are broken down. Like I literally can't go back. There's no denying. This is the beginning of the done, game. But I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing. Oh, I gave them to the shadow, I guess. That's what happened. Like I so did I live? Really? Oh, it sounded like I died from rubble falling on me. Damn. So I killed him, and I'm gonna guess that Daniel is also dead, and Agrippa also dead, probably. So everybody in, in part of this is dead. Maybe that's the good ending. Maybe. I, I kind of don't want to play through that again. I have to do like five minutes of dumb shit. Do you think it'd be worth it to try and get another ending? Or do you think that's good? We call it there. What do you guys think? Yeah, it sounds good. I, th I wonder what happens if you throw the guy's head through a portal. But... Yeah, I tried and it just said he d you gotta open it. I guess I gotta wait for him. That's why YouTube exists. Yeah, just go look up the other endings. I did all this shit to save the head, and then I don't save him. Well, cool game. I wouldn't play it on hard mode again. Very annoying. And a special thanks for to PewDiePie. Yeah. The best game on the map. Who the hell is Ike two seven one?
Well, yeah. That's pretty much it. Other than the other endings. Cool stuff. I guess I got the lame one, but I guess it's like spiritually the best one maybe like everyone involved dies and it ends there yeah i mean i was just surprised that he was so easy to kill i thought it was gonna be like a boss fight and you just have to topple over these little towers and he just dies i guess i don't know i think we talked about this in nightmare house 2 horror game bosses are trash they are fucking awful. They are dumb. They, like, break... They basically, like, are just not good most of the time. You know? Resident Evil 7 did it good. Mm-hmm. I agree. They're pretty decent on Resident Evil 7. I mean, Resident Evil 1 Remake is... Yeah, it's okay. Speaking of which, should I, uh... Should I play that? Resident Evil 1 Remake? Oh, jeez. Uh, if you're gonna do it, are you gonna do it all in the same stream, or...? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, because this is a very short stream if I end it here. It's like not even two hours. Yeah. Also, I didn't get any encoding problems when I recorded and streamed at the same time, so that's cool. I thought I was gonna have to deal with that again. What do you guys vote? Should I play another day, or should I play something else, like, uh... Another horror game or something? I don't know. Check out something. Or is it you already make? Yo, so Sav, you made it to the end. Gotta go play Raft with someone. That game does not look fun. It looks like rust, but worse. Like it's just all on the water. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It seems quaint. You know, it's like a little base building thing. You technically don't even have to do any of the objectives. You can just try to survive out there. Uh. Did you ever play Skyblock in Minecraft? Mm-hmm. It's got that vibe to it, where it's like, you're just trying to slowly build out this little thing you got and get resources. I'm kind of a weirdo, but I like the Skyblock where there's like objectives, like there's like an yeah. island that's like just in the distance that you can see and what you have to do is basically build up cobblestone and get over there and it gives you tools and stuff, like there's progression and not just, oh yeah, survive. And build out and, you know. Yeah. No, it sounds like Raft. Though. It's like the same concept. Instead of the sky block and cobblestone, though, it's just water. And, like, yeah, I haven't really ever gotten far in sky block. Like, where I built, like, a whole farm and a whole house and shit, and you can live, like, in the sky. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I always get to like the mid game and then get bored and then stop. Say a remake would be cool. Wait, someone. Wait, what? Sorry. Raptor said Resident Evil remake. I yeah. think that'd be cool too. Yeah, I'll probably play, like, a good hour and a half of that or something. And I'm very, very aware with this game. Like, I pretty much know every puzzle. And I could maybe get into speedrunning with this game. I've beaten it many times, but it's still a good game. Definitely. How come they never made a Silent Hill remake? That's, like, money they're missing out on right there, huh? Well, I have to reinstall it, and it's 17 gigabytes, and I think that might take a minute. Uh, yeah. Throw your overlay up. I have two, three, seven, evil resistance, evil village. Uh, let's see how long this will take to install. Uh, okay, Steam just froze. Cool, that's nice. You're not going to play Harry Potter? 
What? No. Dude, everyone's playing Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't know anything about that game. If I had my old internet, this shit would be... Oh. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, if I had my old internet speed meme, I would... Oh, wait, no, okay. My speeds are a lot better than I thought. I think Battle.net is just, like, bottlenecked. I thought, um... We switched down plans, but I guess not. Wow. Yeah, this'll, this'll take a minute. It won't take too long to install. I don't know why it's not installed. And I have all these other Resident Evils installed, but whatever. Let's watch the Tetris trailer. I don't want to get DMCA'd. Eh, fuck him. Who cares? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't. I kind of don't want this stream to be taken down. But, and also that means I'd have to show my screen, which um, there's always like a chance that I reveal or show some personal fucking shit that I don't want to show. Like screen capture. Whenever I do that, I just get like anxious as fuck. It's like, oh god. Like I'm, I'm less worried about like, oh, he lo he looks at porn stuff than like, oh, here's here's like the bank that I use. Here's the, yeah, like, I, I care more about that than, like, wow, YouTuber watch porn? Really? No way. Porn is, like, such a weird, no, I, oh my, that's awful. Wow, you watch porn? Dude. Like, I it's think. It's no big deal. I, I have porn as my homepage. <laughs> like, I don't, and I, we'll I don't. All, we'll all do it. Right, like, I don't have it as the homepage, and I don't have bookmarks and shit for that anyway, but, like, I, I love what um, Tygen said about it, what he said about it in the past. Like, why is it such, like, a a stupid little, like, taboo thing, like, amongst, you know, like, popular adult internet groups? Like, they're, we're adults, right? Obviously, right? And But there's still people who are just so dumb with the topic or, like, thinking there just shouldn't be games in that field or like certain media like i don't know anyway <clears throat> it ha it has to be taboo otherwise it wouldn't be cool i guess so i don't know like you know in europe like you know how out here like you could, like if a nipple got got shown on tv like the world freaks out like out in europe like they show that shit all the time like it's like normal for them you can just see boobs on TV and shit. I don't know about that, but I know that I've heard that, like, Japanese television is basically, like, sort of unregulated, weirdly. It's like, you well, can Well, they're, probably... like, the opposite. They need to blur out, like, just the, the pee hole, right? Because that's the offensive part. Well, that's the thing. Like, they will use that as, like, yeah, problem solved, and then they will show it on public television. Which I don't, like, yeah, I feel like in the United States, you will not see that ever. Like, there's, like, nothing like that on public television. You have to, like, pay for that shit. On, like, I guess, like, HBO or some shit. I don't HBO. know. HBO. I think, I don't know why, but, like, I, this kind of reminds me. I don't know if you even have to pay for it. I think HBO is one example of, like, one you might not. Because I remember when my other grandmother, um... I was just, like, walking through the living room. She was, like, sleeping in um, the living room or whatever. And, like, the TV was blasting, but she was just sleeping. And there was just, like, this full-blown HBO sex Ew. scene on the TV. And I'm just... and th But this is when I was, like, 20. I didn't give a shit. I was just like, what the hell is she... Like, does she even... What the fuck? Like, I, I was just... A part of my mind was, like, why is she on HBO? And, like, why is this even allowed on a TV in the United States? Like just public television i'm sure she was just watching some other bullshit like four hours ago that's like normal television and then that just came on out of nowhere and i'm just like what the... and she's just asleep during all of this it was just kind of weird and funny how funny would it be if you just try to embarrass the shit out of her like you wake her up grandma hey what are you watching <laughs> oh my god what are you watching no jesus christ i already had this thing I don't know if y'all, I guess I was like a really stupid kid or something, but I remember when I was like 12 years old or something, or maybe I was like 10, I was really young, and I just casually asked my grandmother how old she was, 
and she wouldn't answer and like i i was kind yeah. of like what are you what i'm isn't that such a basic question like i don't understand and then my mom got mad at me like for some and then she didn't explain why yeah, it's, it's rude yeah, and then I realized years later, like, oh, asking a woman her age is apparently bad. Not when you're a child. I just, I don't really understand that, to be honest, but I don't yeah, know. It's like, all right, well, fuck you then. I don't care then how old you are. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know anything then. Like, fuck you, I won't talk to you then. <laughs> like, like yeah, it's basic. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But, um,. Yeah. So, what's your history with Resident Evil? Um, I first played it when I was really young, when I shouldn't have. And uh, I got, like, freaked out by the game. Though one thing that stopped me is the controls of the game. I did, for some reason my brain couldn't like comprehend. Um, Which one did you play? Resident Evil One Remake on GameCube. That's the one that I played. That one's like way good. Yeah, yeah. So this is a remake, remake. Yeah, this is a remake, but it's a remaster of the remake on Steam. So yeah. Dude, the original game is so fucking hard. Yeah. It really is. I've played the original, and I'm not, like, a ginormous fan. The voice acting and shit is, is especially just so bad. Oh my god, there's, like, whole videos about it and shit. I guess while this is happening, I should probably change the game, I guess. Like, the fucking the game that's being the... played. Uh... Let me. Hold on, let me just do that real quick. Um, and then let me. Yeah, I'm not going to change the game, just I'm just going to... Let's do that. Okay, cool. So now, we're on... Uh, why does it default to having volume when I pull up a fucking stream? That's dope, I love that. I turned it down. Uh, so now it's Dark Descent and Resident Evil Remake, and... Yeah, whatever. So, cool. It updated for me. Yep, Epico. So, let me make sure this shit runs and works with my controller. And doesn't blast our ears, yeah. But it's done downloading? Yeah, I just gotta check something. Gotta check my settings and shit. Just boring shit oh yeah it's actually fucked up right now the it's in a window for some reason what is up with every game launching at like just the loudest volume that breaks your brain why is it in windowed i have no fucking clue I cannot put it to 144 hertz, whatever. So did you play this game before? I have played the original, uh, but I don't think I have played the remake. I see. I played this game once, I might do a stream all about this, but I played this game once with a mod that made it to where every monster was randomized and every room was randomized. 
So every door took you to like a random room in the game. So trying to beat the game like that is like very difficult. Oh yeah, all the items are randomized too. So having like finding a gun is like very rare. Since it's amongst like very few items like in the big ass, you know, meme of items in the game. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to crazy. Test out some stuff. Make sure it fucking works. I know you can't see it. Oh god, yeah, the controls are so awkward. Alright, cool. Game works. I'm gonna stream it now. Uh. Extra specific window. Resident Evil. You know what's funny about Resident Evil? What? There's actually like 20 of them. Yeah. There's so many fucking Resident Evils. And uh, the new one's Village, right? So it's seven, technically. It's eight. <laughs> eight or whatever. Yeah, it's technically like 30 or something. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, RE0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's um, code, like Veronica 1 and 2, I think. There's Resident Evil Resistance. There's... Uh, yeah, there's like there's a There's like bunch. a random one that like isn't even, they like retconned it and we're like, this isn't canon. <laughs> there's the online ones, Outbreak 1 and 2. I think they made um, like three of them. Resident Evil. What yeah, is the alternate controls? So many residuals. I don't know what the alternate controls in are in, in this remaster, remake, meme, whatever. I just use the original because I've played the original many times. Alright, how do you like your games? Like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'm going to play hard. Why do I do this to myself? But anyway, there is... Uh, Obviously, two characters. Which one should I play? Chris has more health and less inventory. Jill has less health. Wait, did I just say... Hold on, I think I just fucked that up. Chris has more health, less inventory, and, like, arguably sort of worse guns, kinda, in my opinion. And then Jill is the opposite. <laughs> I say Chris. one should i do the og chris or like the fucking resident evil 5 chris og yeah i kind of like that too American. i actually haven't chris played chris Bradfield. in a while usually oh yeah sev agrees og chris as well yeah i play jill mostly alpha team is flying around the oh. forest zone situated in northwest raccoon city where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn the game up. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. I'm sorry, they're showing some there new shit. Yep. yep. Families being attacked by a group of Also, I'm not streaming people. to you. Hold on. Victims were apparently eaten. I'm really sorry. I'll probably miss the like. God damn it! I have to tab out again. Fuck! But we lost contact. Look, Chris. I'm really sorry. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. <clears throat> Look up the the cutscene. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. I think the audio is actually desynced on the cutscene. We continue. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm th that was. So, I think I fucked up the cutscene entirely. I'm gonna restart. I'm, I'm. Yeah. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna restart the whole run. That was so stupid. I'm good now. I promise. Hold on. Just bear with me. Resident Evil. I wanted to turn it up so you guys could hear it better. And I was, can you see this, Mark, before I continue? Can you see me streaming yeah. on Discord? 
Yeah. Okay. Right, I like climbing mountain. Mountain climb, yay! Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get a drink while y'all watch this. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Nothing bad is gonna happen. It turned into a nightmare. A nightmare. Watch us, they just stare and don't shoot at the dogs that are mauling him to death. What's happening? They don't take one shot to kill, they take like four. Have you ever seen the original opening with like real life people? No, I haven't. It's probably terrible. It's so funny. Yeah. Chris, this way. OG Grizz. We gonna go in there. We gonna there enter are survival three orber. There's left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> Barry. Is all right? Barry, where's Barry? He's. No. No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Honestly, for GameCube, this game looked insane. Yes, GameCube had pretty decent graphics. My biggest question right now is, where is my gun? Like, oh, well, Chris doesn't start with a gun for some reason. Oh, yeah. He dropped it. Somewhere. Anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, these controls are a little... A little fucky, but... Not right now. Here we go with the rich people puzzles. Yep. Here we go, guys. Resident Beeble. 
I think the original Resident Evil 1 came out in like 96, 97, I don't remember, but then the remake came out in 02, I think, for the GameCube and all of them. Oh, this is the classic scene, this game will be nightmares. Oh yeah, this scene terrified me as a kid. It didn't do anything for me, it looked really bad. <laughs> Maybe that guy is dead, whoever he is, uh, got whip nae on. Dude, my friend Big Nork has played through this game with only a knife. I have no idea how he did- he did that. Like, I genuinely- I wouldn't Sorry. try that. No. I will not. I, I'm too irritated tonight already from Amnesia. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? <laughs> I'm taking that. Huh? A gun? Huh? Yeah, so in the randomizer that I had, I would kneel down to pick up this gun and then it would be like a red herb. Which is really funny. <laughs> Is there anything over here? Uh, I'm not gonna open that. That's a waste of fucking bullets and time. I think I need to run around the mansion to find them, which running around the mansion involves me uh, running up here and then running back down. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I think I need to go this way first. Uh, okay. I think it's Jill you need to search the mansion with Barry. Like you have like this companion pretty early on. Barry's noise. Anyway. Oh my god, it's him. It's Big Nork, the guy. It's literally the guy I'd said fucking beat this game with only fucking the knife. Absolutely mad, man. So how do you do it? Yeah, I, I will not ever try that. I'm sorry. I, I don't have the patience. I will beat the game in two hours. I'll do that. Not this stream, but I I would try that. Like I would try like a speed run. I definitely want that. I'm actually curious to see if I can go in a certain room. Probably not. I think I need a key, but let me try it out. Nope, I can't go into the secret room. Defensive weapons such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive item menu, then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press LB to use the defensive item. Yeah, how's it been, Big Nork? Goddamn. Alright, I'm gonna try to whip Nene this guy. I'm gonna try to run past him. <coughs> I'm gonna try to do the old, the old meme. No, I did the worst thing. No, I literally did like the absolute worst. He bit me from fucking behind. Oh, I suck at this game, bro. Oh my God. That is, that is the last thing I wanted to happen. Like I would rather use the defensive item. Never mind. Dumb. I'm stupid. Well. I'm near death already. Well, I would be near death if I was Jill, but I'm not. I think the first thing I need to do is go this way. I can actually face that zombie now. Well, he's actually going to teleport. So. If you want to do a melee only run, I feel like Chris is probably the way to go. More health and whatnot. You could probably do it on easy, maybe? Unless the achievement makes you do it on hard. Which, in that case, I might be able to pull it off, but I'm on hard right now, so screw that. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. To which oh, it's body cam footage. Yeah. 
He has a bigger knife too. Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, yeah, looking at it, it looks fucking huge. Like, it is definitely like a service, a huge service knife. Oh. I might just use one of these now. I think there's a lot of green herbs. Ah, in the green herb, you know what that is. Oh, yeah, baby, the weed. Smoke that real quick. <coughs> oh, God, I was strong. That was a real cough. This room kind of gave me nightmares as a kid. This fucking hallway. I kind of don't want to pick that up right now because Chris's inventory is dog shit. Fucking asshole. Alright, whatever. That works. Try not to use up all my ammo, but... I can't see shit with these camera angles. Yep, give me that. From the status screen, select an item and then select the examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. Let's do that. I love this feature in the game. Let's examine it. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed, which we're going to do for some reason. Paradox, sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. <laughs> What is this doing in a mansion? That's what they use the meme. But yeah, I love the 92FS. Great gun. Carbon reinforced alloy blade with serrated edges. Chris has been using it since his days in the Air Force. What's really interesting is there is an item in this game called Survival Knife, and then there's another one in the game called Survival Knife. But it's with a capital K. Meaning that it's a totally different item, and you grab it when you're fighting a big spider later. It's it's kind of a weird thing, but it makes a, it like becomes more important in the randomizer runs, because you have a chance of getting either... <laughs> So you have a chance of getting a knife twice and not just once, which might be better than nothing, but yeah, some RE pog, yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot this guy, whatever. Typical cops. Jesus, Don't even friends. read him his rights or like, you know, convict him of a crime. I don't think they're cops, but, well, there are like a force of some sort. How do I reload? Can I just, wait. It's supposed to be like SWAT cops. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, I need this arrowhead. Oh, they are police. Are you sure? Like they are cops, they, they say, cause they don't say police. It's like stars. I know Leon's a cop. Like that's absolutely valid. They are, oh, well, yeah, you know what? Star's office is in the police station, so yeah, I guess they are cops. Like, their office is literally in a police station. Just think about it. Breaking into a mansion, fucking shooting, shooting everybody up. They're cops. Yeah. Shooting dogs. You know, typical cop exactly. activities. Exactly. Now you see it. I'm gonna break their statue. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Anyway. Yeah, what was the point of that? The whole point right now, or aren't they just trying to get out of there basically and call for help? Yeah, call for help and all that. Pretty much. I had to break that statue. I know where pretty much every item is, but the problem is Chris has like zero inventory space. 
I had to break that statue. Human grave with the picture of an angel. There's an indention in the shape of an arrowhead. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, the guy who owned this mansion had like a gram of marijuana. That's why we're doing all of this. He's a danger to society and himself. Grant, book is fitted perfectly in the indention. Hey, yeah, give me that book of curses. Only good things happen when you read this book, I'm sure. It's titled Book of Curses. I don't want to read it. No, sorry, I, I stop right there. I, I don't want to read it. I believe it. I'm superstitious. You know this. Book of Curses, the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four into place, evil people. will awaken. Yep. Anyway, a mansion key of sorts. What is it exactly? Oh, you examine it and there's a picture of a sword. Now it's called the sword key. Wow. Honey, where did you put the sword key? I uh, remember if it's out in the graveyard, you have to put the, the, the arrowhead in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, I got lucky. I got really lucky there. I love how RE2 Remake has hard mode and you have to use ink ribbons to save, and I'm just like, yeah, that sounds literally just like Resident Evil 1. But not on hard mode. <laughs> it's a sword it's just keyword. how it was in general at first, originally. Yeah. I don't want to go in there yet. Actually, I might have to go in there. I just want to unlock all the sword key doors so I can toss the sword key out. What's another sword key door? I think... Um, oh, there's one over here. Yeah, alright, they're cops, sorry. I really wanted to like them as characters. I just really wanted to. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm just kidding, whatever. Except Wesker. Yeah, Wesker is a great guy. I, I feel like I would trust him with my life. No, he just secretly works at an umbrella, I think, or something. No, he's a good guy, come on. I don't think he can attack me on the stairs, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. That's a little meme in this game, I think, where when they're on stairs, they, like, can't attack you normally. They just throw up at you. Tried. He did his best. He did his best, yeah. I feel bad for the guy. any items in this room i forget there apparently is i think it's in the drawer special instructions for disposable dead bodies we have new information regarding these beings they may appear to be dead but in fact they are able to come back to life however there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again currently there are two known methods to cease their resurrection incineration or destruction of the head if further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. This sounds like your average job. Yeah. Uh, another day at work. So there's items in the- oh no, there's no- okay, whatever. Oh yeah, the note counts as a- okay. Anyway, yeah, uh... I think that's an armor key hallway that's down the hall from me. I don't remember. That's one good thing about Chris, is he has a lighter. In his, like, uh... His whatever slot this is, but Jill has a lockpick. Lighter of lighter? 
Brass lighter coated with gold. I've actually been meaning to buy one of these in real life. I don't know. It's a nice little whatever meme. I think this is a armor key. Oh, it's a basic lockpick meme, and that's an that armor. That could be a lockpick. You all right, buddy? I kind of want to go over there and unlock the door. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to go this way. I think this fucking asshole hyper zombie is going to wake up, though. He's going to wake up. Okay. Oh, this is just unlocked. I can't do this puzzle yet. Come back to this. I did this as a kid. And I was freaked out. Like, I was like, oh my god. It's like a death trap room. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll pick this up now. Where do I... I think this sword key also unlocks the basement. Let me go try that. Oh god. Not the crows. All these goddamn rooms. Where's like basic ass bedrooms or something? It's like nothing. Hey man. Fuck. <laughs> oh. And now you lose that knife? Yeah, it's gone. It prevented me from getting hit, though. I kind of want to shoot that guy, but whatever. I forgot what's even down here. I think it's some ammo. It's definitely, like, room for room, pretty much exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, th this is, a yeah, the alternative to not having a lockpick. The old key. Oh yeah, and I think they get different defense items too. I think Chris gets flashbangs and then Jill gets like a taser. The fuck? Yeah, he doesn't have the fucking dagger in his head anymore. I might have reset his health. Let me try to shoot him in the head. Nope. Whatever. What is the last sword key door? I actually don't remember. Fuck. He just took like a huge hit from an herb. Oh. Seems like you remember this game better than I do. I can sell this on eBay. Oh, confiscating this evidence.
I actually... Man, oh wait, I know where the last one is. Hold on. Here it is. Some dogs bust through the windows or something. I can't remember. Yeah. Someone busts through the windows. Yeah. this is the old key consumed now yeah it is it just breaks in the lock you know typical normal things i need this fertilizer later i'm gonna go ahead and take that actually no i'm not gonna do that yet I'll be right back. All right. I can't get the old key from the bathroom now. Damn it. Whatever. I'll come back to that later. Also can't do the shotgun puzzle meme. You dick. You know what, I'm gonna shoot you. This guy like remaining here. Okay, I think he's down for now. I'm going to burn him. Uh, okay, so I have a couple of options. I can go back to that bathroom. Hmm, actually... I don't know. Hmm. I could do a few things here. I guess I need to go get the dog whistle for the armor key. That's not good. Yeah! Come on, hit him in the head too. Come on, Chris, you can do it. He's like two feet away. His head is right there, Chris. I could literally hit that without trying. Okay, cool. 
That's this hallway clear until those dickhead lizards show up. I guess his spare item is kind of better. Like, I do like having that lighter just available all the time. Cool. Alright. I might want to keep the kerosene on me. I... Uh, hmm. What happened? Oh, I killed, like, every zombie in this hallway by burning their body or headshotting them. Finally. You stopped the T-Virus, like, completely by killing every zombie? Yes. Nice, that's the good good ending. I think there's a zombie back here, maybe. Nope. Cool. Yeah, this hallway's actually clear of zombies. That's awesome. There's three and others. Zero. So did this game scare you when you were young? Oh yeah, big time. That's just annoyed me. So I was too young to figure out any of the puzzles, so I would just constantly be walking up to doors trying to open them, like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah. I will say that There's the remake... Zombie. The remake for this game is not the same as the, um, original. Like, there are parts that are, like, completely different, basically. It's not like a, re a like, a little lazy remaster. I'll say that. So if you go into this having played RE1, you'll probably know most of the areas, but like it gets into some weird shit like you won't know at all in some parts. Today Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The objects that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the one person I could trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. Okay. This is typical stuff for a minimum wage worker. Shit you have to do all the time. Botany, use of medicinal herbs. It is well known fact that there exists many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native of the Arkley Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and distinct medicinal quality. The green herb re recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Shit sounds like it was written in like the 18th century. <laughs> The green herbs recover physical strength. Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? Just any green plant? Yeah. Anyway, for some reason they have the map of the place, um, you know, up here. And I have to, uh, put this weird, what is this fucking thing called? Wooden mount. The paper attached on the inside, nothing is written on it. And now I have to place it against that shit. There's a map. Now on the paper. Yeah, I, I want to take it, definitely. Now I have the second floor map. Yay. Why did he make it like that? <laughs> like, oh yeah, if somebody wants a map of the place, they're going to have to light the fireplace and then stick it delicately on this indention of the map. 
of the place. Like, okay, Spencer. Okay. If that's what you want to spend all of your fortune on. But just the second floor. Yes, just the second floor. Do you want to put AC in this place so people can be cool? No. You know what's fucked up about this whole thing is they're really just trying to, like, get back home, you know? Yeah, but then they have so, to solve this old man's puzzles instead. But the, what this all comes down to is this was the time before cell phones. If they all just had cell phones, none of this would be a problem. Well, if they had good reception and there's towers out in the mountains, then yeah. yeah. Then yeah, that'd be cr good, but this maybe there wouldn't would exist. Um, probably need more ammo, actually. Hold on, let me get the ammo. I guess I'm gonna get the, the thing now. The fake key. Doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Why don't I just destroy the door at this point? Or like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I know this is now even, it's broken. It will break into like two more uses or something. So it'll be like a one-way door permanently. I just want to get rid of, like, get this over with, this thing. It's full of dirty water, yes. Why is he doing this? He just goes in the bathroom. Oh, the pump is full. I better, better drain this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That was really intense. Totally won't just bust. Oh, God. If I go through this hallway, there's going to be... God damn it. Well, I have no fucking choice. That is not the hallway. All right. Hope you all enjoy looking at the door. Yep. I'll just run through the hallway very quickly. Some of these camera angles really suck. Anyways, let's go through a stroll. You fucking asshole! Get the fuck off! Oh my god, no. Uh oh. I should have went the second floor. I really should have just went that way. <sighs> Very you good. Uh, okay, I can probably take one more decent hit from like a dog or something before I have to. Um... Let me see. Okay, that's locked. Yeah, whatever.
So, uh, which Resident Evil is your favorite? This one. I stabbed him. Nice. You like this one more than any of the newer ones? Resident Evil 7 is pretty close for me. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah, Resident Evil 7. I honestly want to make a video about that game. It is, like, so good. For a lot of reasons. Like, maybe better than this game. But I just have, like, nostalgia memes. Anyway, so what's up with this collar? Are we gonna wear it or something? There's a Switch, yeah. Coin. Wow. Imitation of a key. Epic. Is that a puzzle even in the original? RE? I don't even remember. Cannot remember. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played the original. I played this like as, as early as like two years ago though. Hello, Stairman. Good. I'm glad you got it out of your system. <laughs> I could actually go get the armor key now. I should probably do that. What are you supposed to do with the fertilizer? That's for later. It's to kill a plant. Or a, like a monster of sorts. I need the armor key before I can do that. Uh, everyone knows fertilizer kills plants. Or it's like a... I don't even remember. It kills like this weed of a thing. Uh, I might have to... Be right back, like, really quick, so I, like, really need to use the restroom. Huck. So, uh, yeah, be right back. I don't know. Talk to them about... <laughs> I say politics. I, I just, I don't know. Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep don't, it. Don't I'll do keep that. Lit. What's up, chat? I'm here to... Keep y'all entertained while Prox goes to the bathroom. So, did you guys know that on 9-11, there's actually three towers that fell? Well, the third one didn't even get hit by a plane. But yet, it fell at free fall speed, the same speed that the other ones fell. I don't know, man. But yeah, besides that, uh, you know, everything everything in the world is pretty much normal and as you'd think it would be. Uh, I don't know what you were saying, but yes, back... Nice. Thank you. Keeping it lit. Broken shotgun. Yes. Yes, flash grenade. Yep. I don't know where they got a hold of that. Ink ribbon. Cool. We got everything in that room. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll save now. Because I die or some stupid shit. So when he says what do you think is happening, he's like typing out his life story in case he dies, someone finds... I guess so, like a brief report or something. Which is kind of cool. Like saving is kind of like recounting what you've done. Which, I, I think that makes sense, I don't know. I should have probably burned that body that's next to that door, but... Too late now. Uh... Nene? Oh! Damn! That was kind of lucky of me. Oh, dude, I should have burned the hyper zombie. I think he's gonna be alive this time. <laughs> yeah. You still haven't found Jell or Wesker? Nope. Let's read these statues. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. Death is the true essence of bliss. Death is everything. Cool. Oh, the helmet. Cool. I love RE2 Remake as well, and the original, but the remake is just so goddamn good. May whoever take this emblem find peace in death. Yep. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, nice. The funny? What's funny? Now we have the armor key. I'm gonna get the hell out of here before that hyper zombie fucking kills me. That's what I'm gonna do. God damn. The spike thing. Did you ever see the Resident Evil movie? I think I saw them a long time ago as a kid. I don't remember them at all. Oh, it's a helmet lock. I need to burn that body by the door because I do not want to deal with him right now. Okay, we have the armor key. Dope. I need that fertilizer and I need the gem. Dude, I have a full inventory just from the shit I want to do. Alright, whatever. Did you say Jill has more space or less space? More. She has eight slots instead of six. Wait, what? I can't burn him? Okay, there we go. a really awkward pillar in the middle of the hallway like hey guys we don't have enough support sorry it's kind of an afterthought um oops we need to put like a stupid pillar here i know there's a bunch of walls potentially supporting the ceiling and everything but uh not enough you know they just throw money at the problem yeah whatever how much you need pillar wait the spike thing is funny Yeah, so anyway, I kind of don't want to deal with that, so I'm going to put that in there. The whole thing, yeah.
Dude, there's so many herbs in here. Yeah, for real. Can I wear this? It's a death mask without eyes, clearly. I love how there's a period at the end of that. It's just kind of... Anyway. Yeah, I'll come back in here if I need herbs. I think I could have killed all those herbs if I pumped it the wrong way. But I didn't. Because I'm a good gamer. I looked at the pipe and I was like, dude, that is epic. The red one? Oh boy. Oh no! Inscription, a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Cool, I'll give him this. How did I put that in there? How did I put that in there? Okay, whatever. Here's a box. Eight. Eight cartridges. Six. You have pleased me. I'm not gonna go in that room yet that he was by. I'll do that later, because I don't have any space for anything. Is that an armor door down there? I kinda need to know. Whatever, I'm just gonna kill him. Yeah. Bye, his knees. Bye, his knees. I'll just leave that there then. I can't grab that piece of paper. Yeah, a thick stone mask takes up the same amount of space as just this thin paper. Uh oh. What? The door was jiggling. Did the zombies bust through there? Yeah. to go like open the armor key doors so i can get rid of this bullshit already out of my fucking inventory i just don't have space for anything i know where one armor door is it's up here wait i think this is one as well so i don't think i want to go there yet i don't have any space for the stuff that's there You know, this always happens on a Friday. It's like, I gotta go to bed super early. And it's like, damn. Fuck. I still have to use this key? Shit, where else is it? I'm trying to think. Uh. Oh, I can do this puzzle. Right now, actually. This is... I'm not gonna lie, I just do trial and error. I don't even read the shit, I don't care. Some people are gonna say I might be an idiot, but. And this is how you go to the bathroom if you live here, right? Yeah. Just push all this, the armors in this in the place real quick.
Bow to those who disturb my sleep. Okay. I feel that. Fuck, I can't even grab it. Alright, well, I've completed the puzzle, so that's gonna be there. Where's the last armor key door? I actually don't remember. Uh, fuck. Oh shit, I don't want to go in here yet. It opens like a whole stupid side quest. You know what? Whatever. Do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Yep. You. Where's Redfield? Oh, Rebecca. Alpha team. We're here to rescue you. Richard. What the hell happened to you? Uh, that pimples on my face really hurts. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. Are you becoming nemesis right now? Bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in the all caps. Room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Everyone's crazy about Jill, but I'm I'm kind of a kind of a Rebecca guy. Don't know. Well see the thing about Rebecca is because in Resident Evil Zero that game takes place before any of this. So technically she's been through like a whole arc of her own, like killed a boss and all that shit. Like Yeah, I haven't played Resident Evil Zero at all. <laughs> but now she's acting like a normie. I've never seen a giant snake before. Like, dude, yeah, like the giant leech boss monster you fought. Like, you didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, th that was probably like a, you know, like a, they, an afterthought. Like, they, they developed this character in this game, and then they were like, wait, shit. What if she has her own game? God damn it. Fucking, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just, uh, end your life real quick. Yeah, 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 cool, yep. This is probably why knife only is actually good, because you don't have to worry about ammo and shit. Uh -huh. Where is the last armored door? I'm really, really trying to think. Ah. Uh... Uh... I'm trying to remember. Fuck! Well, they made me leave that room. I think it's, like, where that... Uh, there's, like, a weird, like, l shape room on the bottom right. I think it's, like, that door on the right. That's gray. I think that's the one. Maybe wrong, though. I ha I'm actually on a time limit. I need to get this serum. Oh, shit. Is there, like, a ton of zombies in here now? Let me just, uh, yeah. We need serum. In all caps. Gener generic. The generic brand. Yeah, the great value. There's no point in me carrying this. I don't need these yet. I don't need this yet. I do need ammo. How's my health? It's fine. Cool. Put that back in there. I put the spray away. And then, nah, dude. It's like a, co a code, like where it's like I do not ro roam without one heal item, or I will die. Like I guarantee it. I'm on hard mode. Like I just I don't do it. It's like a habit. I've learned if you get overconfident, this game will screw you. Yeah, what's the serum all about? It just says serum. Just enough for one dose. <laughs> Let me just pour it out real That's quick. That's a lot. How do I pour it all over his body? God damn it. Or eat that real quick. Did I hurt myself? I fucking did. Oh my god. That's a grenade? Excuse me. Excuse me real... Oh, it's a f flash and sound. What? It looks like a fuck. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's why I need that uh, spray, by the way. Actually, hold on. 
There's a heal right here. I don't even need to use the spray right now. Yep. How many more uses do I have? Okay, I guess I won't know. I mean, if it's a hand grenade and it blows up their head, guaranteed, that's great, because I don't need to burn them. And I could potentially kill, like, a few of them, maybe. I don't know if grenades even act like that. I don't know if you can shoot a hand grenade and then it will go off. Like, I don't really know if that's accurate. I don't think so. Part of me wants to say no. Actually. Alright, Richard, you alive? Dick, are you alive? There you are. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Is he holding like a phone? Like, yeah, I'm just checking Twitter real quick while I'm dying. Here. Take it. It's a radio. <laughs> Care of yourself, Rebecca. He died Richard. anyway. Oh. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, <laughs> it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Oh God damn it! We're gonna teleport across the fucking. Yeah. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. Yes. I'm gonna continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? I do not remember that soundtrack. That song in particular. Uh, it's been that long since I played Chris. Um, let me fucking think. Damn it. Um, I need to go refill my canteen. And I need to get the shotgun already. I've like been putting that off. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? I'm fine. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. I just realized something. Did they have that good of, like, facial capture in, like, 2002? Like, fucking Enter the Matrix was trying to boast, like, Oh, yeah, you know, we got all the best facial capture shit. And, like, they- it's like they did it so much better earlier. Like, one year earlier. Like, yeah. Okay, shiny entertainment. Yeah, sure. Um... Yeah, I need to refill my canteen, get the shotgun, um... Damn it. Uh, what else do I need to do? Yeah, I think that's about all I need to do right now. Find wh wherever the hell this armor key is. Like, goes, I mean. blows up just his head like I think every video game really underestimates like I don't know grenades I think there might be something in that room that I avoided from earlier. There might be like an old key or something. I don't remember. I know there's ammo in here, I think. Yep. 
Can I burn you? Can I, can I? Cool. Cool. In case you're okay, I'll make sure that you're definitely not now. Typical cops. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and El Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. So there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. Goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put, put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another dog blister on my... With this, or big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. And I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. Hello. <laughs> I need that. I need that key. Yeah, I'll come back for that later. I think it's an old key that I need. Can I go in here? Oh. Yeah, fucking little old key. Can't just, you know, put it in my mouth or whatever. Just gotta... Yep, no no room at all to... to, to yep, yep. Yep. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Oh, it's so peaceful in here now. Oh wait, I'm gonna go refill my canteen. And just put it away for now, because I need fucking space, damn it. So do you guys sleep early on Fridays? Uh, it's different every Friday. Yeah. Seems like everybody is just like, all right, I'm going to go to sleep early and whatever, which is cool. I get it. Like probably long weeks and shit. No, I... Are you I... okay? Yes. You want me to treat your wounds? No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem, but we're very short on medical supplies, so... Oh, I'm gonna go get that old key. Wait, do I need anything else? Probably not, no. I think. Um, 
That's the shortest way to get over there. I guess I'll do it this way. I don't know why, but really early on, I became one of those kids that was like, man, I want every item in the entire game. I will find everything. I don't know if you were like that in video games like this. I was just trying to figure out how to fucking do simple shit like the <laughs> door. <laughs> Every fucking door is fucking locked. Yeah, honestly. I should have got that old key, damn it. Whatever, I'm gonna have to go back for that soon. Like a plant? Oh, a dagger. Yeah, there was a dagger on the thing. <clears throat> Use the dagger, bro. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab these. Yeah, that ring ring does look pretty good. How's that? Yeah, that's a massive improvement within like five, four or five years. Insane even, my god. I just need to go check if this is the last armor door, cause if it is, then I can get one space in my fucking inventory back. See you there. Ah, uh, there was a grenade in there, whatever. I thought that might have been locked. Oh, I know what this is. Damn it. This is for a puzzle later. I might as well get it over with. Yep. It's, it needs to be lit. Yep. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I need to combine these to get space. Actually, uh, as much as I want to take it, I really shouldn't right now because I need to crap. pop off those three rounds. Honestly, you're right. I think there's a zombie in here. Yep. Oh, perfect.
Oh, this looks important. What else is in here? It feels like there's some other item. There's something in here I missed. I have no idea. It says like it's red. I'm trying to look and I don't see anything that's important. Unless I'm blind. Maybe I have to kill the guy. I doubt it. Where the hell is that? I I don't even know where that is. Like I can't even see that magazine, but I'll come back for that another time. I just hate doing shit like that because I don't want want to fucking run around. Grab that shit right now though. I can't burn that guy. I just have too much shit on me. Where's the last armor door? I need to go this way. Okay. Oh god. The Weave game is just so strong, god, good lord. Broke their ankles so hard. Wait a second, this is it, isn't it? I've got- what? There's another one?! Oh my god. Motherfucker, man. Does it just break when you're done? You throw it away when you're done, yeah. Oh, there was a note there I didn't read. Uh, I think it's talking about supplies that are going to be in this room now. Yeah, check that out. Just put that in there, put that in there. Life safe. Like the spray that can heal wounds completely. It's like spray paint. Yeah, it's broken and can't be fired. Maybe there's another use for this. It's like the same thing, right? Where you like pull a shotgun off the wall, but then the ceiling starts caving in, so you have to replace it with that. Yeah. save in a while. I feel like I'm watching a Nexpo video right now with this song playing. some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Wesker. Okay, thanks. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. This is it. This door right here is going to be the one. And it'll be another entrance for me to use once I do it, so I might as well. Yes. I'm just going to go do this. I'm just going to do this puzzle now, so I can have another way here. Titles written as follows, bring the light to truth to the three spirits.
Lisa protected by the three spirits, a picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Orange, purple, green. That's green. I'm gonna guess the other one is, I need to press this. Oh, I'm right. No, I'm not gonna press it. So, orange, purple, green. Oh, I did it wrong. Fucking seriously? What? I was very confident I did it correctly. One of them is called the crown, and one of them is called the... Something. Uh, okay. I... I thought I was a big brain for a sec. God damn it. I, I don't think I've fucked up that puzzle in years. Like, well... Oops, I thought they just had to be the right color. I don't know why Max just sent me a crying emoji face. Bracelet. Oh, here we go. So the bracelet, I forgot what the color of the bracelet is. Let's check it specifically. Yeah. Yep, bracelet's orange. Um necklace. Necklace should be purple. There's that. And then the crown should be green. There we go. That's that's correct. Oops. I actually won't, because, uh... Oh, another death match. Cool. I have to use an old key to unlock that? Fucking awesome. Great. Well, I thought I, you uh... You want to bring the mask back? No. The masks need to be at that one little place. Um, the one where it's like the death, death, like the Book of Curses room, remember that? And that mask is already like very close to that room. So I'll just pick it up on my way there. Because um, carrying four death masks on Chris is a pain in the ass. As you can probably see, I couldn't even carry all four of them now if I tried. Oh boy, that, that um, window shit sounds great. I might have to run through that dog hallway again. Actually, no, I don't. Where the fuck is Barry? Yeah, seriously. Want to talk about me being a Jill sandwich or whatever? There it is. Glad the old shitty shotgun weighs the same amount. Love this thing. Wait, is this a trench gun? Hold on. Yeah, I think it is. It's like a 1897, model 1897, something like that. Old school shotgun with a hammer that can hurt your hand if it's in the wrong place, as you can see. I made an HAT. Now we have that. Sab calls it the slam fire war crime stick.
Uh, what should I do? Hmm. Oh, well, I'm gonna go get that old key. I also need to put the musical score together in that room. Playing this game in survival mode would be a pain in the ass because every box has like it, it isn't like universally aligned anymore you can grab an ammo from one box even though you put it in another get that old key and assemble the score. Oh, it's shit. All, all part of being a cop. Yep. I need to go through here, actually. I forgot. for that yeah comps have to do this shit all the time oh hey that's nice I know I missed some items I'll get them I want to get this shit out of my inventory You know Barry has a line in the original Resident Evil where he talks to Jill and says, You know, I think you should have this since you're the master of unlocking. And then proceeds oh to give her a lockpick. <laughs> what the fuck's that supposed to mean? It's better that if you have it, Jill, since you're the master of unlocking. Like, okay. Is this a comedy or is it a horror game? Nobody's better than you are at unlocking. I guess I could have known there would be a first aid spray in this room, so I wouldn't bring a second one, so my inventory wouldn't be full right now, but... Yeah, I don't know the game that well. Or I know, like, every item. I can't even do the puzzle in the next room because I gotta fucking go put shit up. How much of this fucking game is just watching doors open? You could probably time it. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Open in your. God damn it. Whatever, I'll keep the score on me. How much of this game is just inventory management? Because Chris is like, yeah, there's a lot, a lot. trying to get really curious what that tetris movie is about yeah what the fuck like what is that is it like about all the people the people in tetris that made it like a crazy good game or whatever
there's a letter. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. I may wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I see her trying to think of where to begin. Of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke and I already fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away. Lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is so short, short, so accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All of my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. The virus lob robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. <laughs> Open in your Alma, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there's no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them, my love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. That's so romantic. You know there's books of all the Resident Evil games? I didn't know that. Like a novel book? <laughs> <laughs> that looks so funny. He like froze on his back and then he grabbed and it was like frozen like... <laughs> I hate bees. Ah uh, yeah yeah, get the fuck away. Any insect that can fly faster than I can grab it is uh... I don't like them. Anyway, cool. A crest, wind crest. We'll need that much later. I'm gonna put it away because, yeah, I literally don't need it for quite a long time. Uh, anyway, let me think. So, yeah, pretty much all I need right now. You go grab the old key, and I need to assemble the music score. That's two things I need to do. Oh yeah, I need to also grab what's in that puzzle room that I didn't do. I could also grab that ammo too. I can just do a bunch of stuff at once. Whatever. Yep, run past you, screw you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not this time. You're not grabbing me this time. This time I've escaped your clutches. Anyway, jewelry box. Mysterious box? Yeah, you have to get, you have to do the the statue puzzle in order to get the key that opens the room to another puzzle, and then that will open the bathroom. There's a design of the sun and the moon on the plate. It says "Sunshine will awaken me." Yep, press that, and then press that. Oh yeah, another death mask. Cool. Yeah, all of these death masks will open the bathroom. <laughs> Puzzleception. Fuck. Shit, I need to grab the ammo. 
Wait, damn it. Yeah, hold on. I kind of want to grab that early. And go do that real quick. He's gone. Oh yeah, he came out of the room earlier. This will not take lunch. I just need to get ammo. This guy's gonna turn into a hyper zombie later. I just know it. Fuck. Whatever. I hopefully will make it to where I don't have to come back to this hallway for any real reason. Hey buddy, I just need to... Oh god, I need to be over there. You're in kind of a bad spot. And for some reason in this corner somewhere, there's a fucking magazine that I can't see. Is everything in there? Yeah. The room's green on the map, meaning there's nothing left. to grab these herbs too but I think I'm gonna leave those there it's kind of weird how they went from the Japanese name biohazard to Resident Evil yeah they have nothing to do with each other Should have called it Chris and Jill's Big Adventure. <laughs> the name Biohazard is like very lame. Resident Evil is definitely like a more memorable name. Yeah, and it's like you're at a mansion, so you're at a residence, and there's an like evil, so it makes sense. Just biohazard makes sense too, but it's just such a lame, generic, whatever term. Oh shit. That resident is evil Open from the biohazard. Door. Open the door! <laughs> Can I go in there? Thanks. Oh god, he's gonna be like right there, isn't he? The weave game, ah, too good. I shouldn't have burned the guys in here because like there's limited kerosene in the mansion, whatever. I wouldn't want two hyper zombies to kill me in there. What do I need to do now? So I need to assemble the music score, poor guy. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> God damn it. God, the architecture of this mansion makes no goddamn sense. Just all these fucking non connecting hallways, just like stupid ass, like. I think I need Rebecca for this puzzle. No! Damn it! Come on, dude! I have to. Oh, I'm so pissed. I have to waste my time. Ugh. I have to- Oh, I'm so mad. I should have fucking assembled that first. Damn it. Oh my god. I have to waste more time going through here. Alright, I guess I'll open the gate then. Damn, I hate Chris's inventory spot size. This is stupid. Damn it.
Yeah, the real horror is space management, exactly. Can I open that gate from outside? I really hope so. Because the only other way is for me to basically break that doorknob or go through the dog hallway, which I kind of don't want to do. Damn it. Okay. Wait, I can go place this mask now. I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Save myself a bit of headache. Uh, the master of not dying as fast as Jill. Yeah, Chris is pretty much, yeah. That is all. Can't Jill just girl boss her way out of dying? Like, come on. I want the shotgun shells over there. I'll grab them later. Whatever. Ugh, whatever. Damn it. I'm, I'm gonna have to prepare for the boss fight anyway. I'll bring the shotgun and the ammo and I'll stack the ammo later. <sighs> Fucking damn it. Well, I can go assemble the music score now. I'm gonna pretty I'm gonna go take care of that. And then I'll go open the gate. Maybe I can't speedrun this game, because you pretty much, if you did it with Chris, oh my god, you would really have to think about every single item you're carrying on you, and where every item is in the game. You would have to be so good at not getting your inventory, like, too full. I bet speedrunners don't even use weapons in this game. I bet they just, like, run past everything all crazy. Okay, here we go. Musical score. What is it, anyway? Moonlight Sonata. The section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. The complete musical score of the Moonlight Sonata. Alright, Chris, try to play the Moonlight Sonata right now. <laughs> it's me, Chris. Oh hey, I don't have to go get you. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Did it? Can you play? Every girl can play piano, obviously. They're just doing this, like, for no reason. Like, yeah, I'll try to play it. I don't know why. <laughs> What was that? My interpretation is off a little. It's way better than your shit, Chris. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Yeah, practice it for no good reason. Because why not? Rebecca could not play the piano in Zero. That's funny just learned out of nowhere it's kind of like what uh mark was uh like um yeah what Silfet was saying that uh he they kind of like retroactively like just made it i don't know she's a scaredy cat in this game even though in zero she faced like a lot of really horrible shit apparently i've never played zero so she shouldn't really act like that but it's like the whole thing of they probably didn't even really think much about Zero. When they made one. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Or one remake. 
Honestly, I still think Rebecca looks the best in this game. I think she looks kind of weird in Zero. I can't really explain it. I'd have to look at it again, but... Anyway, we gotta go open that bullshit on the other side of the gate. So I need to go back over there, and hopefully the doorknob isn't broken, because if it is, I have to go through the dog hallway. That's the only way I can get over there. Zero is a prequel, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't see him. I don't see him. Woo! Baby. All right. I wonder if Zero is like the earliest in the series. Like canonically? Probably not. There's probably some way far back prequel game or some shit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the death mask. The other death mask too, just to get it out of the way. Um, What else should I get? I think that's fine. I think the doorknob's gonna break this time, unfortunately. Oh no, you can only get two uses. Fucking damn it. All right, dog hallway, let's go. God damn, dude, I'm kinda salty, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, that sucks. Oh, you know of it because of the movies, yeah. I've heard the first movie's not bad, and then it gets, like, super dumb after that. It's supposed to kind of be, like, its own kind of timeline. Separate from the video games, from what I understand. I need to watch the first Resident Evil movie. If there was a movie about this game, would it just be them doing puzzles the whole fucking time? What would it even be about? I don't even know. They probably thought that to themselves too, and they just made a completely new timeline. Oh, this is gonna suck. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Wow! I'm surprised! Damn. But now this hallway is gonna get infested. Watch this. Wait, did I... You know what? This is probably a good time. Mm. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to come back here, like, ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and grab what's left. Oh, shit. I forgot there's kerosene here. Hey, could you not... Could you screw off? I don't want to waste my ammo on you right now. Don't do it. Okay. I have the... No, I don't. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I do not want to come back here. So that's clear. Yeah, goodbye. I don't care. Now, if I wanted to undo all my progress and do a funny, I would go through that door to my right, which I'm not going to do. Did they just... Oh, it was probably behind me. I bet people who played RE1, like the original, shit their pants when they went through the doors in this game. Because I don't know if in the original they could do that. Like, it was always kind of like a rule. Like, oh, you're completely safe if you go through a door. Yep, I'm gonna grab that. Now I can go through here, which is a lot. This is like pretty decent. It's decently convenient. Here we are. Can I? Oh, I'm trapped now. Oh shit, I forgot. Hey, can you give me a sec? Thanks, boss. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
<laughs> I can't believe I got away with that. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-install these masks. Uh... Cannot smell evil. What does evil even smell like? How are those two things even connected? You put a mask, a dumb little mask on that, and it's just like, it triggers like blood flying out of the- Oh god, that's not good. Fuck. Don't do this! Oh my god. You dickheads. You know what? You're not worth my fucking bullets. Uh, what do I need to do now? I guess, uh, I think the last one is at the piano room, if I remember correctly. I have to grab the shield and then replace the shield or whatever. to this room. That clock is so loud. Love it. show off to me how do you know this is gonna do anything like it's, it's just kind of funny i don't know i said rebecca man i'm just saying i don't know i don't know i don't know <sighs> practice makes perfect huh? what's this What did you do? You broke it. I look at her posture. She's like, hmm. An expensive. I'm looking. Okay, whatever. Yeah, can't. Did you find Wesker? Global saturation. No, I didn't. Trevor's diary. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did it end up in here? How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, sorry to put you through this. From 67. Oh, yeah. This was 30 years ago. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. They killed me. Sir Spencer will be the only one that knows the secret. But for what purpose? Doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're all right. Decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the day my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they are going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in lab coats said something like, most likely my your family is already. I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. Beginning out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. I couldn't cover the story of Resident Evil, like even the first game, because I feel like it's too fucking complicated. Rebecca, hello. Were you all right in there? Oh. 
Yeah, let me get out of here. Let's go. Gold emblem. Yeah, just the whole expression she made. Just, God. Cute girl, man. Oh, boy. Alright. Let's get out of here. Ugh. I know you would never expect she's already been through her own arc. Yeah. It's gold now! Obviously. I think this actually gives me a key instead of the last mask. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Not right now. I need to see what the fuck's going on here. Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into a breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. The short breast, long head. I need that. I need that to be. That was in the correct position, I think. Ah, the ah, I'm so stupid. Hold on. Small. Right. And then I'm going to do large. Left. Yep. Nope. Obviously. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh shit, the shield key. Oh no, I know what I have I know what I have to do now. Fuck. What? Yeah, boss fight. I forgot there's one before the the mask boy. Many doors left unopened. Ed boy. Damn it, I really have to think about this. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Plug. I gotta go to a safe room. I need that shotgun now. It's about to get crazy. You gonna fight Nemesis? Yeah. I actually kind of want to go back to that botany room. Get some of those herbs. Hey man, you doing good? Fuck. <sighs> the two green herbs do the trick? Cool. Do you like how like, the herbs, the crushed herbs, like, are in a joint paper? <laughs> See, it's like in a paper. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back again. <sighs> Alright. I saw a picture on Twitter the other day that was like the Stars 92FS. 
the AK, the pistol that, you know, they've been using and stuff. Glad a zombie hasn't come in here. That's a cool cutscene. Baby. All right, let me save real quick. Alright guys, let's go figure out where this shield key goes. Oh, well, I know where it goes. It goes to a special room. I'm gonna need these, probably. I really hope there's not a hyper zombie in here. Oh god, please. Oh shit, okay. Man, what? Okay, no problem, whatever. Wait, don't I get his shotgun anyway? Eh, I guess we'll see. Oh boy. Snake. The snake. The slithery man. No! Shit. Okay. No, he's not. Is he? Oh, I wasted a shot, yeah. There he goes. I mean, I'm gonna go need to get that serum now. Very cool. See, I fucking knew it. As soon as the music stopped and he wouldn't aim at him anymore, I was like, hmm, should I keep shooting him? I wasn't trying to be like an idiot, but like unofficially or yeah, whatever. Hey, the hyper zombie got despawned. Cool. Poison. Uh, Chris. I need serum. Serum. I remember seeing it. I'll be right back. Just hang in there. Oh, I don't have to go grab it. Or maybe she teleports me. I don't know. 
Oh, I have to play as her now? I forgot about that. Yo, I completely forgot about this. I really didn't want to get hit by that snake, but, you know. I think I was talking to Tygen about how I think Rebecca is the reason why I have, like, the, I guess, a short hair preference. I don't know, <laughs> to put it simply. Also, it's just easier to fucking draw, but, yeah, that's a whole nother thing. I haven't done art in a while. Damn. What up, Richard? Does she have a different description for it? There's just enough for one dose. Nope. think of this game I think it's pretty sweet it's probably like my top 10 games ever specifically the remake I could just play as her. Goaded. Goaded game. Exit. Honestly. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake and fell unconscious. Easy. Uh, uh, oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything... That you wouldn't do? I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. Bravo, Rebecca. Hey, I got an achievement for that. Oh, thank God I made it in time. His face, what the hey. fuck? <laughs> Yo, what's up? She's looking at you with an anxious expression. She's not looking at me, she's looking off at... the space right now. Yeah, what's up? Welcome back, Sulfet man. Yeah. Fought a giant snake. And I got poisoned, and Rebecca saved me. Got to play as her a little bit. Anyway, I think that's Did the last... Did you need serum? Yes. I had to do that run again, but with Rebecca. Anyway, we're gonna go uh, fit this last mask and uh, check out what death is all about. I have a lot of heals too, I think I'll be fine. Big Nork said this is a goaded game, I agree. It is one of the greatest of all time. What is your favorite Resident Evil, Sylphet? What did you say? Probably four. Yeah, that's a, another goat. 
I know that game like the back of my hand. I think... Yeah, I probably... I have a lot of experience with it. Like, I beat it on Professional. I will stream it at some point, but I think this is the game that I know like the back of my hand, basically. Hope he doesn't one-shot me. I'm actually gonna be kind of pissed if he does. I don't think he will. But, okay. What's up, boss? Nope. Get the hell off me. Seems like two herbs is just fine and not three. I don't think three is even worth it. I was just in danger and I used two green herbs and I got full healed. So what the hell is the point of three green herbs? Uh, probably is one. brought one anyway now we can go to the real residence for the real resident evil I think that's one of the coolest loading screens though, like the door opening. Like keeps all the tension from the previous room and all. There's really no break in immersion, I suppose. Yeah, you had to get clever with loading screens back then. A frame away from getting attacked. Yeah. Seriously. I think I'm just gonna use the shotgun for a bit. Uh, I kinda wanna pick that up another time. I might need my inventory space. Yeah, I should have grabbed. I thought there was a box in here, wasn't there? Am I tripping? I might not remember very clearly. Shit, I need to bring that um, medallion. Yeah, you know what? I need to go back for a moment. Ah, shit. I can't really do that, because if I go back to the, the closest safe room, it's going to be like the whole bullshit of got to go all the way around. and <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I need to go get it. And put this spray away. All right, dog. Okay. Could have run past him. I should have also aimed down and hit his head. I don't even know if you can headshot dogs in this game. I have no clue. I think getting yeah, headshot. really dumb. You can either aim straight up or straight down. Okay, that didn't work. What? How did I not headshot him?
guys down for a bit. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go all the way back around because the fucking doorknob's broken and shit. Even though it looks perfectly fine to me. I think Barry fixes the doorknob for Jill. Just turns into a repair man for this place. Yeah. Debating whether or not to carry the ammo. I'm not going to. Alright, I'm gonna go fucking all the way around because the fucking doorknob's broken. Yeah, can't just shoot the fucking door open. Impossible. Hey, yeah, I remember um, Resident Evil went through quite a few facelifts after this. It became more of like an action game. But then, uh, 7 really brought it back to this vibe of, like, just walking around a creepy-ass mansion with, like, limited resources and trying to piece it all together. Yeah, I think by far Resident Evil 6 is the worst one I played. Straight-up action game. Yeah, 5 is okay. Like, it is an action game as well, but, like, the co-op is fun. It's actually a really fun game, but then 6 just, like... I don't know, it felt like a basically like a duplicate of 5, but worse. Like just too much dumb bullshit, like too much action. Like it takes it to the extreme. And like, I don't know, very forgettable story, I don't remember it at all. They can use guns now, they're just like people, but they're just against you type virus. Some dumb bullshit I don't even care about. So basically, we could just have soldiers. Yeah, just turns into a fucking private army meme. Like, cool, yeah. Global duration. Sorry, I'm just quoting my favorite Wesker line of all time. Where should I go? Should I go this way? Uh, I think I need to go this way. I need to go to the residence that's evil. Ah. Valley of Destruction, Cave of Hatred, Summit <laughs> of Madness, Path of Revenge. What is this, a fucking amusement park? North, South, East, West, Destruction, Hatred, Madness. Destruction, Hatred, Madness, Revenge. the dogs at the face away from each other revenge destruction destruction and revenge North and west. God damn it, yes.
Fuck. There we go. Yeah, I should just remember they're facing away from each other. I think the thing that I would keep on my gravestone is, uh, yeah, three of these. You know, there's always people out there that are just like, you know, I think, you know, you should really keep your gun just super like in a safe somewhere else in your house and stuff just super separated from you when you really need it and all that and it's like you know i think these guys at this mansion for some reason may have taken this to the absolute extreme like oh man we need to make sure that if we are in an emergency that we have this as far away from us as possible so what they did is they made this lure thing that led to that, that led to this. And now you have a magnum. You're being robbed. Where's the crest, Sonny? Yeah, where's the lures that can give me the wind crest that can take me over here so I can put the wind crest in and get the three crests and then press on the back of them so I can put them in the other grave that will give me the gun that we need to save us. Oh, it's not loaded. Dies. Anyway, it is loaded. Loaded with magnum rounds. Cool. I like the look of this. Looks kind of neat. But yeah. You probably knew there was going to be a gun in that. I did too. I figured it would, would have been something like important. Like maybe a key to get out of here. Yeah. Fresh firewood. Uh-oh. Who the heck is here? It's Leon. Yeah. Family picture. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first, mom attached second, inside red and slimy, white and hard, not true, mom, where? But no dad, fun mom again, when attached, mommy, she moved no more, she screamed, why? Just want to be with her, mom, where? Miss you. Okay. I'm gonna put this away. Should probably save, it's been a while. Literally killed two bosses since the last time I've saved. Well, I think I'm gonna have to call it a night here. Alright, man. This has been a cool game, though. Yeah, dude, it is. I fucking love this game. And Amnesia. I like Resident Evil more, but, you, yeah. You fucked that Alexander dude up.
Yeah, pushed over the pillars. Yeah. Got him. Uh oh. <gasps> well, looks like I'm dead. Uh, okay. Oh, my asshole. I'm just standing there. Okay. I'm out of here. Cool, man. You gonna keep going? Yeah. So, I'll probably catch the, the end of this at some point. Alright. What are you doing? Like, going to the store or some shit? Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to go lay down. My fucking stomach hurts pretty bad. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, man, yeah. Definitely do that. Good shit, brother. Good shit. Yes, thank you for joining me, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll catch you guys on the next Angry Proc Show. Yeah, dude. Later. <laughs> Epic. Okay. Tab out. Tetris official trailer. What the hell is that? I'm so curious, but I don't want to get DMCA'd. <laughs> what the fuck is this movie about? Uh... Anyway, sorry, I need to be right back again. I need to go get a drink for a sec and go to the bathroom. So, uh, yeah, listen to the sound of the uh, outside of the mansion. Spooky. Be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, cool. I uh, I definitely understand what the fuck just happened. Oh, I think he just exploded. That zombie that I grenaded a minute ago. I sounded pretty irritated with amnesia, by the way. Again, sorry, because hard mode has prob probably set me back like an hour in that game. Maybe more. 
and have me playing all nervously and shit because I didn't want to die and lose a ton of progress. Amnesia is a good game. I like it. I just shouldn't have played hard mode. I'll never play a hard mode in an Amnesia game again. I have Amnesia Rebirth, which is the third game. I'm wondering if I need to get the second one, Machine for Pigs, and play that. But I am not playing them on hard mode for any reason. Like, I, I like playing the hardest difficulty, but in those games, it's, like, actually fucking so frustrating. Like, way too much for me to think it's worth it or anything. This game, though, goaded. Absolutely. This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. Thing's broken. Oh shit! There's a boy right there. Man, the shotgun sucks. It can't even one-shot dogs. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I can hit multiple. Come on, get the hell off me. God damn it. Dude, I can't shoot them twice before they hit me. This is so fucking... Weird. Here we go. Good lord, man. I should have shot them from a distance and maybe hit multiple of them since spread in video games for shotguns is like silly huge. Not dumb even. Did I get everything in here? Yeah, I did. There's an elevator that's not working to the left. Gotta find like a battery meme for it. Something like that. Crank it. Crank that soldier boy. Oh! That's what happens when you crank the soldier boy. Yeah, cool. Redirected the water and now we hear that waterfall. Cool little detail that a lot of people miss as to why it's kind of important. Chinese square light dot PNG. Burb. Like there's something beyond it. I think I need to get a battery somewhere else. Yeah. The ultimate herb. The brown herb. Neck. So dumb. They're just waiting up there for me. Silly. Okay. 
All right, now we're in the residence. I don't think we need to crank that soldier boy for a while, so let me put that up. Uh, a bunch of blue herbs. use the handgun for, for a bit. <laughs> also save, why not? What's your guys' favorite Resident Evil game if you've played any? Like almost just about everybody has at one point. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh fuck. Uh spider. I need to light this. Uh, I don't want to go near that thing right now. You dick. Oh my god. I shot one of his legs off. Two of his legs off. You- oh my god, I should've kept the shotgun. Honestly. RE3, do you mean like the new one or the original big nork? I also gotta remember that color, I think. Red. Raccoon Police Department. Huh. OG. Damn. That's actually, kind of, I feel like that's an underrated pick. The original Resident Evil 3. I don't ever remember the symbols, I just remember the color. And then I swap up the numbers. Where's the third, um... The third thing. Oh, it's over here. Red, green, orange? Five, six, three. I need to remember 
365. Just remember 365 like the year. Or just how many days are in a year approximately. 365. Nothing, nothing else? No. Okay. 365. Remember that. But yeah, that's, I think Resident Evil 3, I don't think I've played enough of it, honestly. I need to actually play the original again. I haven't played the original Resident Evil 2 in a while. And Resident Evil 1. Bandage with blood. Missing a blue herb by itself doesn't do anything. Or it might, like, just heal the poison. I have no idea. I don't remember. favorite still re1 remake look at tie between this <coughs> this game and resident evil 7 love resident evil 7 amazing game i still need to play the expansions for resident evil 7 like the not a hero no more heroes i don't remember what it's called Oh god, this shit. I hate this shit. I hate this. Ugh. Fucking... I don't know, man. I think these are, like, my the most disturbing fucking things. I'm not looking through that hole. I don't give a shit. Well, if y'all are curious, here you go. Giant beehive. Hi. Hello there. Plant 42. Four days have passed since the accident. The planet Point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, a T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found the plant 42 has two main source of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, scientists went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it, used it, the air, that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. As they're doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Fortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it is as if trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. When? When? What is the current? I forgot. What is the current day in this game? Because how long ago was this in the game's universe? Like a year ago? Great. I'm a fucking zombie now. Come on.
Cool. I don't think I should go down there yet. These random rooms have this like really cool, weird, mysterious music. The fuck? No, this room has it too. Great, I've activated the hallway bees. Oops. These are pretty fucking slow. Well, I guess they're bigger, right? Gotta move more. Move more weight. I don't know if you can even die from this. I don't think I've ever done that. I'm gonna grab some ammo. I think I've already asked what you got what your guys' favorite soda is. I think the one answer I got was root beer. I don't know why. I think it's called Barks. I hate Barks root beer. Mug is like the real shit. Or it's good, but I like IBC root beer is like the real shit, I think. It's supposed to be. Drain it, yay. It's clear water this time. Not poop water. Nice. Control room key. Oh boy. Self defense gun. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. Dr. Thunder, I haven't had that in a long time. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it was the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. Just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. This is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. feeling that guy didn't actually die from hanging himself, but that's just my, my theory. I've been gun that fires 22 magnum rounds. One round has already been fired already. I guess I gotta go down that ladder now. Guess I won't need this for a bit. 
gonna go ahead and save. I've done a little bit. control room key by just looking at it. Eh, whatever. I kind of want to know what happened to these guys. Like, if there was, like, a story of, like, one of the scientists or whatever, that'd be kind of cool. God. The bees. They all landed on the same spot. I should have probably burned that guy, but, um, yeah, whatever. This track is really cool. This is like some water level music. Oh fuck, did I art? Did I, uh, did I screw this up? Oh dude, I'm a dummy. Ah, oh, come on. I feel like such an idiot. Like, I was gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll just, uh, preemptively push that one over, but I think I've screwed it up. Wait, hold on. I might be able to salvage this. Never mind. Wait, there's no way. No, there's no way to push that other one. No, there's no way. How strong are you, Chris? Can you push these both at once? No, you can't. God damn it. Fucking, I'm so stupid. Alright, cool. I thought it said I can't go back up. I was about to say that I just soft locked the game. I wonder how the hyper zombie thing works. Because after a zombie is dead for a while in this game, it turns into a hyper zombie later. Self explanatory what that is, but I'm wondering if it's like how many times you enter the room with the dead body that counts up toward it, or if it's like a set timer or some shit. I feel like if it's a set timer, that would be, like, a little bit pricey on the game's end, right? Like, I mean, you'd have to keep up with it for, like, the whole game, almost. Or for a while. Now, Chris can't swim, so he's just gonna push these boxes over. like steam in the room. Is it from the cold or from the warmth? Who knows? Do sharks like warm water or cold water? I don't know. Do you know Big Nork? Surely you do. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Richard. Warmer waters. Oh shit. Chris. Why the hell are Chris, you down stop. here, dude? How did you get Okay. Richard. He warned you. Oh boy. I need to go. Okay, so Okay. Woo, baby! Ah! 
Oh boy, I should not. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that dude right now, the plant man. Cool. In case of drop an oil pressure control, open valve number one. I kind of want to look up the difference now, what the difference between a 2 and a 3 green herb is, because it seemingly 2 and 3 will get you full health. Maybe there's nuance, like fine is like a range between like 80% and 100 health or some shit. Which terminal... Oh, he knows. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to about showing maximum you. safety. It shows you like all the important parts of the puzzle during that. I love that. It again. Fifty percent of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. shark that big would not live that long in an aqua ring that size would it need like pretty much like an aqua ring that's like 10 times bigger or something with a lot more food and shit i'm guessing Or dynamite here. Oh, hello. This is like a, looks like a vanilla M4, I guess.
If I remember correctly, Jill get this, gets this like really early along with the grenade launcher. It's one of the many Jill benefits. How is this fucker still alive? Is what I want to know. do here Oh, there we go. Let me just uh I've never tried getting in the water while he's like that. Oh, wait, 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 shit, 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 I need to push it in and then turn it on. Get whipped on. Get nanaed! I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, maybe he had something I needed? Yeah. Let's see. This looks like a really weird key. Hmm. Can sharks even live that long out of water, or fish in general? It, I feel like they would die within, like, minutes. Maybe even less than that. I understand they have the big T-virus meme, though, so it's like... You know, they're like super-powered fish. Pick up these magnum runes, damn it. Damn, that's interesting. They can live longer without water than we can live without air. That's actually a really. That's weird. Why is that? Is it just our bodies are more complicated? Like, there's just a lot of shit that needs oxygen in our body, like our brain and our heart. Meanwhile, the fish have, like, a simpler anatomy. Like, pretty much they can maybe preserve and be more efficient with the water. Oh, fucking Jesus. Okay. Than we can with Eric. I, I, that's my only explanation I can think of. I'm gonna go get those magnum rounds real quick. Get past this stupid... Asshole in the way. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh my god. Wait, I just kind of realized. Yeah, I can't go that way anymore. What happens? So, I've actually never been to that plant room after draining the ship. Is there anything in that plant room worth a damn? Like, is it worth going back? I kind of want to see. Now that I'm here. I don't think there's an item in there, but I'll go check real quick. Three fifty seven Magnum hollow points. Yeah, that'll uh that'll do the trick.
Do you know why, Big Nork? Why the, uh, that fish fact that you gave? Did I pretty much hit the, hit the nail on the head, maybe? Like, it, the anatomy of a human is just... I don't know, because it's it might be more complex than a fish. It just kind of needs... more. There's more organs that need oxygen than there are organs in a fish that need water. I, I don't know. Kinda wish I got into biology more. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here. He's still alive and doing all right. This is a waste of time, <laughs> fuck. You forgot the answer, yeah. Yeah, there's this Twitter account I follow called uh, Marine Biology Shit Post. They post some really funny shit. <clears throat> also, next po, my boy Ryan made a video called Fear of the Deep lately, and uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I assume it goes really a lot into the weird bullshit down in the ocean. The spooky. Anyway, get me the fuck out. God damn it. I'm good. I don't want to know about the shirt. I just want to get out of this room. Thank you. Alright, let me try to remember. 365, I think. No way. What? That was the first guess. I was about to do 635, 536. I was about to do, like, so much shit. Oh my god. Can't do all this like jar bullshit right now. I gotta come back to this. Oh, I can't pick up anything. Oops. Uh, yeah, I can't. I literally cannot do anything. I need to go back. Drop some shit off. More bees. Awesome. Are there bees that are that big or wasps or something? I would really hope not. I would imagine maybe not. Because they'd be like too fat to like even fly, I would think. Their wings couldn't like support a, like weight like that. I guess that's how the the meme with B movie though started, right? Like theoretically the bee shouldn't be able to fly, but it does. Some bullshit like that. I don't know. I haven't seen B movie. Somebody's probably made all of B-Movie in, like, ASCII art or some bullshit. Like, every form of meme of B-Movie you can think of probably exists. But, I don't know. I need to organize this shit better. <coughs> Sorry.
For those that haven't played this game, by the way, I do that every time because I think if you walk over the hole, the plant's like, I'm gonna get you, and then slaps you and does damage to you like every time. Pretty annoying. He's got him. I'm gonna go take care of that bee problem real quick. Wasp, whatever. Instead of trying to approach it up front like that, I'm gonna just, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna... Kill all of them real quick. Apparently it's completely RNG how fast all of these bees fall, meaning that this cutscene has like a very variable time. Apparently in speedrunning, that literally is just complete luck, which is kind of funny. I don't know if that was like a fast or <laughs> a good or bad time for all those bees to fall. No idea. <laughs> Pretty funny the more I think about it. God damn, dude. I don't even want to know what, like, some of the biggest beehives that exist are. I... Ugh, Jesus, fuck. What is this key? Number three. Where is that room? Oh, it's this. Oh, I couldn't go in here even if I wanted to. I see. Who left the fucking key over there? And where's the lock? I don't see it on the on the knob. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Oh, I hate it. I'm glad I never took Oh, Kim. Jesus. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapid-growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. Characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking remember that shit. At all. I'm guessing you have to do red, green, and orange, and that makes V-Jolt. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Red, green, and orange. Wouldn't that make a pretty brown color? Ignore the image. Do not look. Don't look. Do not look at the image. Just, just, it's a book puzzle, you know? So, Big Nork, I know you played this game. Do you remember what I do with this chemical? Do I, like, throw it right on the plant? Do I throw it right here? Roots of some kind of giant plant. Okay, so it's not down in the basement, thank God. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw the chemical, I guess, here. I guess. What's in this one? Nothing. Woo! Wait... All right, let me go make that chemical now.
I don't know if I need like a ton of ammo for this fight or whatnot. I have no idea. Or if this just insta kills him. I don't remember. You gotta go to the useless room as Rebecca. The useless room. Oh. Is Chris not like smart enough to do this? Do you have to do this as Rebecca and like save him? You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Oh, so I can't even make it myself. So she has to, like, save me. Should I bring a bunch of ammo for this fight? Do I need to do that? I don't want to be, like, stuck in there and then have to fight. I I'm going to go for it. I'll probably regret this, but I'm just going to go in. Whatever. I kind of don't want to run back and forth again. Surely they wouldn't soft lock me. Maybe I get like knocked out or something and then I play as Rebecca. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, come on, like wooden floor. You have armor and there's some give to that wooden floor. Oh shit, I do have to fight. Oh god damn it. Uh oh. Oh no, am I poisoned? I'm not poisoned. Okay. Wait, does that mean I can go through that door now? Oh, I can. Cool. I guess I gotta go get Rebecca. I don't know. Because I don't know if I can, like, shoot him or anything, like, shoot the plant, if I don't... Yeah, I'll just... I'll go see what's up over here. I'll get, like, the shotgun and everything and prepare myself for a huge boss fight. I'll just save beforehand. Maybe Rebecca's in here, I don't know. Maybe a pistol will be good enough to meme on him. They're all hollow points. Cool. I want to take some other guns and just use it in this fight, but I kind of don't want to, like, fill up my inventory. With a bunch of bullshit. Like, I want to use the last bullet in this, and I want to use the last bullet in this, since I'm not going to ever use them again. But... Yeah, hold on. Uh, let me just... Yeah. Here... I'll just save, see what go what happens, whatever. No regrets. I can just go in and nay nay him. I'll use the epic twenty two magnum derringer to uh kill the huge plant. No more bees. 
Maybe if I show up into that room, maybe Rebecca will be there and be like, oh, hey. This door has a lock that is not even used. Yeah, I think the, the game wants me to fight this plant. I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go. All right. You're going down. I'm gonna get hit. That was really dumb. Well, those two guns are done. Dude, how the hell do I dodge these things? Okay, cool. Okay. Wait, how did I shoot that fast? Oh shit. You fucking asshole. You, dude, can you let me? Is there any way to die? Dude, holy shit! I'm gonna die before you even. Okay. Uh oh. So wait, what the hell was all that root bullshit for? I'm so confused. But whatever. And that just appears there, right? Cool. So what's all this root bullshit? Like, is that a Jill thing only? I guess it is. God damn it, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Well, you have to do like 10 puzzles. <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But. What are you talking about? What's dead? Richard. He's. gone. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. Watched out? I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. Oh. Uh -oh. There. I'm glad you're still okay. Ooh, Rebecca, damn it. I don't know what that noise was. Don't even ask. I, I, I don't know. All right, can I, can I check out what you're going to do? I'm the one who found the information on how to make the fucking shit, but you're the one who has to make it? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yes, actually. Yeah, would you? Thanks. <laughs> Why is she making that noise? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Be strong, Rebecca. Yeah, we'll get McDonald's after this. Don't worry. Take care, Chris. 
Okay. I guess she's gonna come up with it later. Uh, okay. I guess that's what happens? I don't know. I guess we're done here. Gotta go back to the mansion and open up the helmet key rooms. Oh man. Oh. Wesker? What are you shooting at? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. There's nothing else here, dude. Like, I've checked everything, man. There's, like, nothing. Don't turn to Rebecca Blonde, okay? Just don't do it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I didn't get whacked. Cool. Let me put these fucking guns up that I'm not gonna use anymore. Oh, God. Maybe I should start carrying the shotgun the whole time, because I'm gonna have to start dealing with a lot worse enemies that can, I think, one-shot me. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I should carry the shotgun. The pistol just... it I don't know, man. It's just... It's not... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll save real quick. text and the green text even mean on the on the shit all right let's go let's go back to that mansion boys let's go helmet key yeah To stream the randomizer sometime. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. God, I love this game. <laughs> I don't know what it is. A lot. Nah, I'm good. See ya. I know you were waiting there for me for a while, but uh, yeah, I'm not interested. Oh, you dick. You better not have poisoned me. Okay. No. Oh my god. I'm fu fuck. Oh my god, dude. That's so annoying. They want you to use the blue herbs so bad. You're like, oh, we gotta poison him. Yes! We finally did it! We poisoned him! Yes! He's gonna use a blue herb, finally! Yeah, check out over here real quick. Yeah, there's no battery terminal or anything. Of course, it's on the fucking bottom. I need to stream the randomizer. That's what I was saying earlier, because it's pretty funny. It also really tests my knowledge of, like, Resident Evil 1 quite a lot. Oh, hey. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Give me that.
Use this to protect yourself from the monster and chains that can't be hurt by guns. Also fix the doorknob to make sure you can get away, Wesker. Thanks. I didn't know Wesker does that as well. Damn. We're about to watch a speedrunner run this game. Uh, I might actually... Yeah, sorry if you need to get through there, Wesker, because I'm about to open this. Also, what what did Wesker do in the mansion, by the way? I opened fucking everything. Like, I have seen... I've done so much, and he's... Like, what has he done? Really? Just eating Cheetos? He's just sitting in the fucking corner eating Cheetos, like... Yeah, you know, you should really check out the mansion again. Uh, yeah. You should open it up so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Global saturation. You know, uh, yeah, we pretty much almost explored everything. There's not a whole lot to go. Uh, the room next to me is a special bullshit room that I can't get into. Uh, I guess I'll check out the second floor in the other room. Speed run. I cl dude, how did he open that door? How? Genuinely. I, I took out the emblem. Like, I thought that door was supposed to be, like, unstoppable. I guess it's only one way. I don't know, dude. Stupid. But yeah, I have to deal with these guys now. The, the reptiles. The lizard men. Whatever they are. So, yeah, I'll need that for a while. Uh, fuck, I don't have to burn them, I don't think. Do I? Probably not. Oh shit, I need poison. No. Wesker had to deploy the hunters. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm gonna use this when I take a little bit of damage. <laughs> Let's go ahead and deploy the hunters. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe he did. Eh, probably not, but... Oh god, he's like right behind me. Dude, he... <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. I'm tired of you. I should have shot that one below earlier. Whatever. Oh yeah, I don't have bullets on me. Global. Saturation. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, this is a weird puzzle room. Oh shit. Okay. Go Chris run. Am I a dumbass, or is this how you're supposed to do it? Because I don't know any other way to do it. Hiding a dagger. I knew it. 
and then a random hole in the floor. Very sketchy. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Last book, Volume 1. What can words on the cover mean? Meme. Did I just say meme instead of mean? Oh my god. Maybe Tygen's right. Maybe I do have a problem. A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. Won't need that for a little bit. Can't get out. I tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been out everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark uh wet and eerie caves what can i do formaldehyde what is that used for is that like a dead body thing like pres preservation or some shit at first i didn't want to believe my eyes but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corner it was like reflex one name came to my mind jessica i don't want to believe they share the same fate as me no i can't give up hope i have to hope they're alive i haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days i feel like i'm going crazy yeah preservative yeah i thought so why does this keep happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. There was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end, but even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. Grave, but deeply engraved into it, the stone was my name, Greg George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. It's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. Small gravestone, George Trevor. The switch, press it. Oh boy, here we go. Hell yeah. Oh fucking my god, that... Kinda, kinda wasn't expecting that for some reason. I'm just gonna, you could just chill there, man. That's cool. Discarded shell of a molting spider. Molting, is that like, they're, they're, they're kind of like shedding their skin or whatever. Oh shit. Hey buddy. How you doing? Oh my god. That's awful. I forgot to head bed, bed too. Oh, you don't like spiders? Wait, shit, I forgot. There's like an item in here. Okay, I need to shoot them. Stop it, you dick. Oh my god. Oh, there's a map. Okay, I'm out of here. You fucking asshole. Surely this won't kill me when I, uh... Actually, I can probably get everything if I... Hold on. There we go.
Labaretta mags are just kind of lying around. This mansion. No, I can't combine them. Before I go up that elevator, I really need to go make room in my inventory again. getting my head sliced off but uh you know normal stuff oh my fucking god yeah no nah, get out of my way and these loading screens aren't even necessary they could just well i guess there's like a special map made between those two rooms that just reminded me oh, i can't grab it right now there's like an herb in the Bonnie room. See you after. Thanks for joining. I get the yellow gemstone probably from actually it might be like directly above me like in that room I know there's a bastard up here there's gotta be I'm surprised these hunter dudes don't show up again like in any other game I don't think I actually don't know Chief of Security. Confidential. Chief of... Next day is drawing up upon us. Up on us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain bows. Raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen in the samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their death as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. For some reason, you are unable to execute this procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. Oh. Wesker, what the heck is this, buddy? Hold on, let me push this shit over. I'm trying to grab the damn ammo first. There we go. I love what happens when you try to give the lion the red jewel and not the blue and the yellow. I think it like just snakes fall out. It's like kind of funny. Oh yeah, sell this on Etsy for like five bucks. Is there a yellow gemstone? Well, I guess it's... What is the yellow gemstone called? Fuck, I forgot. It's like a... God, I'm so stupid. I don't know. Topaz. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why I just, like, completely forgot about that gem. I 
I forgot what I'm supposed to do with that in this game. The red gem. I completely forgot. Damn. I know the yellow one goes with the, yeah, the lion boy. I'm gonna go give him that. Wow, I just kind of realized if you don't do that puzzle and give it to the lion, you can't save Jill. Because you need all three diskettes to save her, I think. I think in the GameCube version, there are literally these machines that look like GameCubes that you put those diskettes into. God, why even have the T-Virus shit when you can just make those hunter guys? I guess that's also like a T-Virus thing. Hunter is like such a white boy name, Jesus Christ. Why couldn't this dude just have safes with, like, combinations and stuff? Well, I guess the police station did that and it got really annoying. I'm definitely gonna play RE2 Remake. I've played so much of that. Such a fun game. Rebooting a system of some sort. Neat. I love how the shine of it moves with it, like it's a texture instead of being like an actual shine on the disc. I understand all the, you know, limitations of the game and stuff. Looks pretty cool. I like it. How does it look like, well, I guess it reads on it like, reboot a system with this epic on it or something and that's why he assumes all that anyway i gotta go empty my inventory again before i go up this elevator actually i should probably check out ah uh, never mind i think the very top floor was that just a hunter that was, oh baby that is a hunter not cutting my head off sorry i'm not incorrect in thinking that there's an attack they can do that literally one shots you right I'm like pretty positive there is one. And it is bullshit. Okay. He's not right here, is he? Nope. Not doing it. I think one shot you at full health. Did they just remove this door? Wow. Can I move, please? Damn, dude. I might as well finish him off. Hope I don't have to burn him later. I think the top floor, like the very, like the top one past the armor key room, I think that one goes to another snake fight if I remember correctly. Oh god, I hope I'm, I'm correct in thinking that, and it's not this elevator that takes me there. I think this takes you to like a, a spooky room that has like a battery in it for getting to the outside waterfall thing. An old school elevator. Cool.
God, I love these like flame lit rooms. Like why? Oh boy. Oh hey, I like that little 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 uh, detail. The moth on the window. That's awesome. Thank God. I'll just take these. I'll smoke that now. I wonder what the programming is for getting a headshot. I almost think, because sometimes I try to get a headshot and it never goes off, but then sometimes I'm not trying and it goes off and I'm just sitting there like, man, it's almost like it's a percentage and there's like no other way of doing it. I don't know. Like you just have to hope you get lucky or something. Because in real life, like in RE2, I get so many goddamn headshots when it's not like a third person meme. And there's a lot of ammo. I'm about to take that shit. Yeah, my inventory's full again. Awesome. Love you, Chris. But you need to get like some more pockets or something, bro. Like it's it's pretty bad. So you can operate the elevator. Oh, hey, they actually give me a hint on something it does. Instead of just being like, oh, a battery. How would Chris even know that if I never looked at it? Well, I did, but I'm just being a smart ass. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't want in here right now. Goodbye. Oh fuck, there's gonna be a hunter in there. <laughs> What's worse, fighting a hunter or a hyper zombie? Hmm. I might get killed here. I have to use this. Okay. I think I'm out of first aid sprays finally. Um, I'm gonna save this for later. And I'll also load my shotgun. Yeah, I'm out of spray as well. I have to actually resort to using my herbs now. I think it's about time. I think these are two greens. I think that'll full heal me. Actually, I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm gonna use like the three greens. That one I literally can't do anything else to, I don't think. Yeah. So, I'll grab that. What do I need the red gemstone for? Just, I've completely forgot. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know what I need it for. I need to put it in that box or whatever, I think. I think I'm gonna go do that next. I think coming into this hallway was a big mistake. <laughs> There's like a hell zone in here. I need to finish these dickheads off. Oh 
I just realized I haven't saved in a while. I'm actually kind of spooked. I'm gonna try not to alert that hunter. There's one over there too. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Oh shit, that was a grenade. I'm so stupid. I thought that was a, da a dagger. That was dumb. I didn't- uh, I don't know why that didn't register to me. Like, why that was a grenade and not a dagger. I don't know. Oops. He's dead. He de he's dead now. <laughs> like, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think the last helmet key room is upstairs, uh, all the way up there. And that's where the snake meme is again. I don't know about you guys, but I, I saved the Magnum for Tyrant. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's something handwritten that's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sp Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. I wonder if I can go in there now after reading that. Probably not. An organ. What the hell is that? It looks like a fucking stomach or something. Or kidneys? I don't know. I had to look at it longer and make get reference pictures. I don't know if this helps in getting headshots or not. Or if it just screws my shit up. Why does it look so tiny on there, but it looked giant in my inventory? Oh great, I hate this shit. I think that's like right there or something. <coughs> no, that doesn't look right. Hold on. That looks better, yeah, right there. And then, uh, that looks like it belongs, like, right there, probably. Got the wing meme. Yep. And then that's the center. And then that's the... Yep. This will open that one office. Emblem key. Key's designed with an emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke that. Yeah, I need to be really careful. I need to, for real, just save as soon as possible. I mean, I could fucking save in the dining room. So, need to go check out the the office. And then I need to eat that snack again. Wonder if I can go in the the room now. I hope there's not a hunter in here. The hunter's in that long room. I wonder. Zombie's still there. I think I need like a key or something for that actually.
Oh, hi. Uh, I just don't want to deal with hunters right now. Damn, damn. Woo, baby. Oh my god, he was about to slam dunk on my head. I swear. He was he was so ready. Rebecca. Is she upstairs? Where did I hear that? I think that's in like the snack room. I guess it's because all the windows in the whole mansion are goddamn open. I don't know why I need all these crazy puzzle keys. I could just climb through every window in the in every room. No one's been in here. I'm surprised. Why are there shotgun shells on this shelf? Metal object. Nothing else here? Biology books. Didn't tell that was even there. Some engraving metal object. Alright, go save before I lose like an hour of progress. Wow, he was like constantly on my ass, holy shit. Oh baby, wow. Keep that on me. Actually, <laughs> give me, yeah, give me all those shells, all of them. I'll keep the full heal. I'm using a lot of like normal green herbs. I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna have like no green herbs at the end of the game. Yeah, I, since the resident storeroom, Christ. So like all the helmet key stuff I did would have been erased if I died. There we go, cool. We're out here, so the best way to get there uh, I'm gonna use the outside gate. Hey, buddy. Can you just leave me alone? Cool. I just kind of realized, who is that, like, hyper zombie cursed guy? in the tomb in that like grave is that just a, a zombie or is that supposed to be somebody important like spencer or something it's like what happened to him spencer trevor trevor spencer whatever the hell know what i mean It'd be interesting if that that was him. He was like kind of wearing some old clothing and shit. Oh, Spencer died in RE5. Wait, so he's like actually there in Resident Evil 5? What? That makes no sense though, right? Cuz he's like this old ass guy. I guess he got out fine. That's weird. What the fuck? That's that's like really strange. I'm going to have to go through that hyper zombie hallway. Oscar killed him in a flashback. Oh, okay. Who the hell 
is that cursed ass dude like in the tomb then or in the the casket whatever the mask boy oh man Why does it sound like he's in, like talking through a radio? I'm gonna wait for that to explode. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. If I get poisoned, I kind of just realized that I don't have any green herbs to like mix. I guess I have mixed. I, I have a mixture of herbs for that. Anyway, let's uh, fight the boy. The snack. Definitely taking those. I'm not gonna mix them. I'm not gonna use them either. Cause I, I, I need like regular green herbs really bad. I don't think I'm gonna get poisoned. Oh boy. Wait, is this where Rebecca is or not? Is she gonna die? Cause I didn't... Uh oh. Totally poisoned. I'm not, okay. I should have reloaded with the menu. Am I dumb? Got him. Even though he was like right in front of me and I was right there. Okay. Yeah, these bosses are kind of easy. At least they're not insufferably terrible to fight. Written word is dead. I got that as an achievement. You wolf south, nor wolf of north. Cool. So where is Rebecca? She was upstairs. Oh, wait a minute. Is she in that one office? That one corner one? I gotta go fucking save her. Is she gonna die because I didn't go to her? Oh, shit. So, where the fuck? So, I'm thinking of a room. Okay. I'm trying to think of, like, the best way to do this. Whatever. Oh my god, this was not the choice. Alright, uh, maybe it was. I just laid them out in one shot. Okay. So the T-Virus is in this game, but isn't the G-Virus, like, already in development during this time? And wasn't it because of a breakthrough with, like, some DNA weird bullshit with Lisa Trevor? The chick who's, like, invincible in this game? Something like that. I don't remember exactly. 
honestly learned most of my Resident Evil knowledge recently from an ASMR video that was all about Resident Evil, which is kind of funny. You bitch. How yeah, about I take you both out with, with one, uh... How are you not dead? Okay. Are you in here, Rebecca? Ah, did I waste my grenade? Was that just a cosmetic scream? Hello. Is she dead? No. Is that programmed? Am I an idiot? Do I have to reload to save her? Oh, dude, what? Oh, hell no. What? Oh my god, bro. I had to go get her immediately? Son of a bitch. Alright, hold on. I'm sorry, I have to save her real quick. Damn, I didn't know she could die! I was just fucking kidding! Am I... I think what I did- Damn, what? Holy shit. She was directly above me. Fuck! Alright, hold on. I'll save her. Damn it, unless I'm too late. Like, maybe I wasn't- Eh, fuck. Damn, I've never seen her die! Nope. Ugh, you dickhead! How did I miss? How did I miss? Okay, Chris, stop. Okay. First try, baby, <laughs> for sure. Chris! Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. I thought you killed like we a huge boss or something in RE0. You, you with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. Yeah, sure. That's that you just demonstrated that flawlessly. For sure. I didn't mean to get you worried. I guess a really look on her face. Um, well, yeah. You kind of kind of did get me worried. All right, I have to go heal myself. I'll save the big um apparent the apparently bigger three green herb instead of the two herb for when I'm in danger instead of caution, like orange caution or whatever. Cool, we're good. So now I'm gonna go kill Snack. Are hot funyuns like really hot? Have you guys had hot funyuns in a while? Cause I'm kinda say thinking that it's like really spicy, like spicier than I remember. Like holy shit, the flaming hot funyuns. Or did COVID just like permanently screw up my spice tolerance, like it did to other people that I know?
I guess no one's had it in a while. Okay, just wasted a shot, I guess. They're spicy to me, especially with buffalo patties. Oh, yeah. I felt like I could handle hot Funyuns pretty well, but like every time I eat one, like I've been eating them on and off, like while playing, I like get some, I feel like my throat is just dry or something, I guess, but um, I feel like I'm like coughing on the dust and shit. Alright, here we go. Actual fight. I don't even want to know how fucking what a snake that big could fucking swallow. Jesus Christ. Like a whole ass elephant. Like do snakes just have like a coated like acidic meltdown type of meme? Like is there just it seems like their whole fucking body just seems like a big ass digestive system. Like where the hell else is their shit? You know what I mean? I don't know. This place really doesn't seem very wheelchair accessible. Like, oh yeah, you want a book that's on the third floor? Well, guess you gotta just uh, get somebody who can to go get one for you up this big ass ladder or up these, up the trap room. Hopefully the trap doesn't just malfunction and kill your boy. I would not trust that shit. I would not step foot in there. I would be too scared. <laughs> Let me think for a second. So, I'm missing a, um, oh, I gotta do the battery puzzle. Okay, yeah, I gotta go do that. Meaning I gotta break out the, the emblem again. That was pretty bad. I got lucky he didn't hit me another time.
I think I need the crank as well. Gotta crank that soldier boy one more time. Do I need these yet? I'm actually, I don't know. Hmm. I'll just roll with it. Oh wait, shit, I need the emblem as well. Like the actual emblem. Damn it, okay. I'm gonna try something a bit ballsy here. So uh, I usually carry a health item. I'm not going to this time. I'm gonna save first though. And then I'm gonna bring all the shit that I need. I don't know if I need these emblems yet. I'm, I actually really don't know. I, this is like the one thing I forgot. Uh, where's like the complete emblem? There it is. Okay, yeah, I know her, yeah. I know where I'm gonna, like, pause. I'm gonna, like, end the stream. It's, like, a certain point, like, after you get both of the objects and you get through the gate at near the, like, central basement. at that point you're kind of in the end game I think So wait, Big Nork, do you prefer the original over the RE2 remake? Is it the same with 1? Like RE1 versus Resident Evil 1 remake? I love how they have to give you a hint on the puzzle, too, that can't be like, oh, we're not going to tell you because we don't want you to access the shit. They're just like, no, we got to give them a little bit of a hint. All right, we're going to put the battery in, come up, and then crank that soldier boy again. Shit like this, so labyrinthian. Yes. Why? Because I'm rich. I don't know what else to do with my money. Shit runs on like a basic ass car battery. Are you like the remake more? Yeah. I guess since I started with the remake, it made it easier. I'm guessing you started with the original, maybe. I don't know. 
Oh god, I need to do a stream where I play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Oh god. That game will make me mad. <laughs> a little bit. What was your first console? Did you have like a PS1? Because my first console was a GameCube. So. I forgot how much the GameCube was retail. I don't remember if it was 200 or 300 dollars. Because if it was 200, then that's a steal for how much shit you can get. Yeah, PS1 I figured. Oh yeah, I had a PS1 too dark in you. Oh shit, wait. God damn it, I don't want to go in there yet. This is the bigger section than I remember. I hate the, this cave section. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. Probably my least favorite section in the game. this just to get like a stone frame yeah I don't need these yet I also think I need a different crank for this that's a hexagon yeah I guess technically I've played PC first as well. All right, I think I'm gonna save here and then continue this another time, maybe on the next stream. Because I've been playing for a while. I think the stream's gonna be going on for like six and a half hours now. There's a shitload of locked stuff in the gallery. What the hell? Damn. I didn't realize there was like that much stuff to unlock. I beat the game as Jill, for sure, at least. I've just played this game so many times on different things, like actual GameCube hardware, emulated hardware, meme, uh, the Steam version. Uh, there's like so many fucking remasters of the remake it's crazy um god Ugh. yeah six and a half hours <laughs> fucking i think i beat amnesia like four and a half hours ago I really been playing RE1 for four and a half hours. I did not realize that. Holy shit. Time flies when I'm playing that game. Or just any Resident Evil, really. I'm just like super into it. No complaints at all. Though, yeah, it is getting late. I love how I've been losing subscribers with every stream that I do. <laughs> kind of think that's kind of funny. Just a bunch of people who think I'm going to do horror videos only, but no, I'm, I'm going to be covering mostly video games uh, and not even all horror. I've been meaning to work on my videos more, like my actual like release video stuff and not just stream all the time. I need to try out Twitch too. I was talking about it in my um my Discord. Try out Twitch streaming versus 
YouTube streaming. I just thought YouTube streaming would be easier, but just like the live YouTube uh, like platform is just really strange. Like if you click live when you go to your home, only like 10 channels, 15 channels come up. Like not a whole lot of shit of like streams going on. I just feel like they're buried amongst videos versus streams. What? Yeah. This is weird. I don't think they really take streaming seriously, YouTube that is, which is unfortunate because I want to take it like somewhat seriously and do it more as like a, like a hobby, enjoy games and stuff together, all that. I really need to get the ball rolling with all this too, so we can build a bigger community and stuff and hang out more and all that. Also need to buy more games. Yeah, see you later, Big Nork. I think I'm going to head out too real soon. I was just going to say that I need to get more games, take in more suggestions from you guys. I'm just kind of low on money at the moment, which I guess this is the part where I advertise my Patreon for like 30 seconds. Like It is literally the least intrusive way to support me if you have money to spare, you know, and I'm going to add at, like, you know, benefits and stuff, like early access stuff and Maybe behind the scenes videos and scripts and whatnot. And maybe even, well, I don't want to really spoil it, but the top tier I was going to reserve for people who I'd want to like incorporate into my video somehow if they wanted to. Maybe like a spoken word or like an advertisement. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but anyway, Patreon's great. I really I appreciate it. I have like two patrons at the moment. I actually have had three, but. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head out, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll probably stream again, I guess, Sunday. Like, late Sunday or something. Probably going to stream more RE1 remake. So, anyway. Peace, y'all.